The Adam and Wax Show. We're back. People thought we were done. And I had no. a, lot, a lot of people reaching people out running, sad. You would, yeah, people love our show. People oh. were in their feelings, which was unexpected. People, no, Adam, it's like the yin and the yang. Mm. That's what it, and I think what it is is. The zig and the zag. To be real with it, Adam. <laughs> the rooster and the 22 It's two star. bosses that respect each other. And we understand the craft that we're doing. Mm. And so it's like. Well, I do. Yeah, I definitely do. <laughs> I get it a little bit. Right? So we understand it. So it's like when the shows go, like it's different when like other people that kind of feel like, well, it's only so far I can go. Mm. We don't get We know when it's on, it's on. We're canceled. That's it. I'm white. I'm, <laughs> you, you were in prison? Who was in prison? You were. I went to Penn State, college educated. A little bit of prison. You went to the pen. That's a good friend. <laughs> yo, man, I brought Beast, man. Yo, yo, yo. When you up? met Beast, Beast. I love this shit. He was in Folsom State Penitentiary Folsom State on the app when back when we in Trolls Nation. Oh. But he couldn't really That's say right. that. Talk too but loud this is the guy that, time. that right. shakes the whole app up. When you be hearing the shit, the fast-talking Chicano dude. So you were a clubhouse god behind the, the wall. Yeah. Never a god behind the wall, just a guy <laughs> doing time. Never. A, he the one got me in trouble with... <laughs> yeah. um, uh, uh, the Bo- Bozo dude. What's the dude? Cholo, whatever. American. Yeah. American. Well, there's a guy he named the Bozo one, too. He the one <laughs> that called him what he called him and they blamed me for. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What'd you call him? I called him a Ooh. He can do that, but they blame me I for I guess they got mad at that They said, well, I, I did guess it. They got I haven't heard that one yeah, in a while. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> kind of an old school. It. I can't be discrimination. I don't discriminate on nobody. I disrespect everybody accordingly. <laughs> I don't give a f- who you are. I ain't tripping. It's nothing to me. Right. And he talks real fast. But you know them dudes from prior? No, or was no, it this no, is no, a no. clubhouse I, I, thing? You know, I was no. just talking to Lupe. Lupe got in the vault. She looked like a fat torta. I said it. And you know what I mean? It is, my, it is what so it is. So they said they I should have stopped him mad. from saying it. Now, here goes the thing. If he's in one city <laughs> and I'm in another city, <laughs> on, I know, how could I stop Why, why are they mad at me? So they blame me, Adam. Yeah, well, yeah, you're, you're ultimately going to be held responsible for everybody you bring on your clubhouse just like, floor. Just right? they hold you responsible for up here. Yeah, <laughs> but this is different because I have to like give them jobs. Clubhouse, you can just show up, right? Yeah, my people in Clubhouse make money, believe it or not. Right, we you always say that. Make money. So listen, today was a very special day. What is so special about today? Because Beast came up. Right. I'm going to tell you why I brought Beast. Why did you bring Beast? Because see, everybody be calling me, asking me, what could you not bring certain people to No Jumper? And you know what? I have for respect it. Why do people want But then y'all to- brought... um. I can't say that. Y'all brought um, the little dude, Spider-Man, mm. right? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I said, okay, Sharp, since you power wound with the Spider-Man dude, right, I got to bring your nemesis up. This is Sharp's nemesis. Me and Sharp. And I'm glad they saw each other face to face while I was here because I was able to get them to understand that this phone is work. Uh-huh. It's work. It does its thing. So what is your problem with Sharp? Me and Char, we got into it. He came on the stage popping his shit like a pimp. I don't know. I don't. It is what it is. Pimps are pimps, whatever the case may be. But, like, if you come at me, I'm going to come at you. You say some wild shit to me, I'm going to say some and wild Sharp, shit right back. And I got a disrespectful mouth, And too. not only I that, Sharp is on Clubhouse. And I, I was a friend to Sharp about a month ago. I said, look, bro, go get you this microphone because you can't win because you're too low. He like, how do they talk that loud? So I, I told him. On me. Even though I know he's going to try to use it against my guy, I said, you know what? Sharp part of the Doe Jumper family, let me balance out the playing field. Go Were you guys beefing mic. that much, or was this like oh, a, a couple every times? Time. No. Every time he comes on, Rockstar we go back. Star is yep. the one behind everything. Let me tell you what Rockstar dirty. Rockstar. What's up with you and Rockstar? You guys got your well, shit. Remember Rockstar. what Rockstar said about it? We ain't going to tell him. Yeah, yeah, he, no, Rockstar, this is what he mm. does. They do anything for clubs. He'll have somebody coming in for an interview, right? Do anything for clubs. He'll have somebody come in for an interview, right? Uh-huh. And they'll tell him, yeah, I don't f- with Wack, right? Mm-hmm. So then he'll call me, hey, Wack, I got this rapper dude coming to the stage. Could you come critique his music? Mm-hmm. I'll be like, who is the dude? I'll be like, I don't know him, right? He's like, yeah, just come. So I come in. He knows what the dude didn't told him. He don't tell me none of this. Mm-hmm. So when I come in, the dude's already like, what the fuck? He thinks I'm pulling up on him on this shit. Mm. The f- with him, even though I don't know him. <clears throat> so then the back and forth starts. I'd be like, God damn, what's up with this dude? I don't know. So now the shit starts. The rock star goes on mute. Mm. Now the shit leads to some other shit. 
And he's he, going on mute, like tucking your chain in the clubhouse. No, world? he's going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Really? But he did. Okay. He's okay. done the same thing <laughs> with Beast and Sharp. Oh. Started some shit. Get it Yo, popping. Sharp, come to the stage. Then he ping us. Bring Beast over here. Yeah, then they bring me. So they. But then he act like he cool kick, with get, Sharp. Get a kick out of that. Uh huh. Rock star, man, you got to cut that shit out. Right. But you know, Sharp's up here for the record by itself. Why got, got his himself. crew crew with him? And one thing I would say, once he realized Beast was Beast, he poked his chest out and said, "Hey, homie, hey, homie, hey, <laughs> hey, homie, I'm Sharp. I'm the one you said the shit to." So I made sure I was completely standing between. I said, "Sharp, both of y'all talk shit to each other. It's a fucking app. It's content. And even if you wanted to fight, Sharp." The fact that you're here by yourself and I'm here with my team, Wax not going to allow that to happen. Why wouldn't you let a fair because fight happen? I'm, no, I'm gonna tell Which you I why. agree. Thank you. But. No, I'm going to tell you why. I f*** with Sharp. Every time me and Sharp get into it, what the people don't know is I take the initiative to call Sharp because I kind of understand Sharp. Sharp like, I'm on the way up. He think he can say this. I ain't called him to say shit. So what I do, I'll call Sharp mm -hmm. and be like, bro, what's up? How can we figure this shit out? He'll tell you this, right? Uh -huh. So the fact that I didn't know Sharp was going to be here. Sharp's here by himself, right? If I fuck with you, I don't care what's going on. Whenever I see you, I'm going to make sure my comfort zone is your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Now, Sharp was a man. He stood his ground. Can't nobody take Can't that take from him. him. Ain't no punk. Ain't no Ain't punk. punk. We here with my team, so I didn't know he was going to be here. But I said Sharp. Look at me as a as a brother. This kid, for one, <clears throat> you at work. Two, you're up here by yourself. So I can't allow that to happen because no matter how it turns out, it's going to look like I allowed it to happen. Mm -hmm. And I fuck with you genuinely. But I think right now kind of gave Sharp a different light of me because he like, you know what, whack, that's some real shit. Because most motherfuckers would act like they was going to the bathroom with some weird it, I said, yeah, then I would have been in violation. Because because of me and Sharks back and forth, people say, oh, whack don't like they go. Mm. <laughs> he been cool with Sharp. I ain't got nothing. Me and Sharp talk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, for right. real. You know, we talk, but we don't, I think people don't understand this world. Sometimes we do our shit, we got to let y'all talk. Because if you stop talking about us. How can you have these peace conversations with Sharp, but apparently Brick Baby and Snoopy Badass aren't eligible for similar diplomacy. Well, one, Sharp has never called me a snitch. Mm. Sharp has never voluntarily disrespected me. Sharp has always just responded. Now, me and Sharp initial fallout was because he wasn't, he didn't understand Clubhouse. Mm -hmm. So when he came into my room, he was doing and saying shit that he didn't realize we take a certain way. Uh -huh. And me and Sharp was on a, like a two hour call one day and he just said, whack, f it. Educate me on how this shit work. And I respected that. And I did. So, you know, even when me and Sharp get into it, we always, like, I use, I call him. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Sharp, I f with Sharp. We ain't no, um, now your boy Brick Baby. <laughs> he put that on his neighborhood and his dead homies that he got paperwork on me. He never came back with it. Then, it. right, we found out that he's interested in the community with the guy when he asked him if he got put on and f***ed on, right? And, and it, then he wanted shit. nine inches or 12 inches. So Ooh. I don't know what's going on. You and oh, Brick get along because yeah. you let, you know, we don't you know what be you talking about. On. Crazy shit. Okay, but you sex if play, somebody you did face. get jumped into the crips by getting fucked by their homies, that would be the kind of stuff that we would need to talk you about. You could on ask here. that. Yeah, We're I wasn't there. there. We can't and ask that. As a Paul Rue, I'm not even interviewing nobody trying to put a black eye on cripping because I got too many crips that I got too much love for to even play with that like that. I'm not even even finna allow nobody to, to it's get research. no clout. He's just learning about nah, alternate lifestyles and communities. He ain't supposed to do that, bro. The gay That's crib. It. That's it. Good guy. Would you sit down with the no, gay crib? Th th listen, there is no that I know. He's not really like cripping anymore. No, there is no. I think he kind of already put it down. Look, there are <laughs> crips and bloods. Right. That have participated in prison and probably on the streets. 
behind closed doors with that type of activity. But I don't know of no openly gay crip just walking around here flamboyant talking about I'm gay. That's a disrespect to that brag. And believe it or not, Crips is part of this West Coast culture as power rules and bloods are. And I respect our culture. But it's period. gone national. And now we have no, Texas no. and we have gay got crips, nothing to do with Cali. No, okay. Nothing to do with Cali. Dang. Now you are I the, don't make the rules. You are the partially <laughs> gay podcaster. I am not gay. So you're good to I, do it. You could do that. That no. is a fantasy of yours that you no. have created in no. your mind at Adam. night when you've got the jergens and the, the cum rag, the cum sock. Why would you ask my artist who? if he would fuck a bitch with me? After I told you, did I, I don't do man, sword Adam. fights. I asked you if they said. I don't do sword <laughs> fights. Some, how do I'm we know? never you in the room you with another... How do you pronounce it like that? Say it again. Sword. I don't do sword fights. <laughs> nah. I'm never in the room. You in that? Fighting. You even told me you be comparing and shit. In a sword fight? Yeah. I don't well, know. I mean, if I'm fucking a girl with another guy, yeah, I can't help but notice the size See, of his that dick. That what you said would never be part of my makeup. Fucking a girl with another guy. Have you ever You're heard? You're gonna the, eventually fuck a guy. Have you ever heard of the term? A, have you thought about a, it? A gang bang. Have you, you thought ask me about that it every week? You're obsessed. No, have you thought about have you it? Ever, you ever heard the term a gang bang? No, gang. Listen. What could be more gang gang than a gang bang? Yeah, I don't. I don't watch that. Yeah, type you of can shit. ask. Bunch that. of we'll homies that sound different. Working uh, together with a young lady. Uh, cool. Can't fuck with it. That's gay. That's in our eyes. Gay. That's gay. Yeah, that's gay. That's gay. I'm not That's speaking gay. my language, friend. That's gay. That's gay. 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 Yo, I talked to Jason Lee, right? Now Jason, that's gay. <laughs> Jason Lee is openly gay, man. That's my brother. <laughs> Shout out Jason Lee. But he want to get on with you, so you gonna say? Whoa! The same. Now that's gay. So we got the uh, the no, 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 the Jason Lee Mandingo Award no, that he gave me. What does he want to get down about? Because you tried to do some backdoor snake shit <laughs> with the blue face Jade and Alexis. Oh, what do you shit. mean? Knowing. He just interviewed him, yeah, and then you tried to double back, interview him, and release it first. That is true. I did do that, yeah. That's some bitch shit. Why? So Jason want to get out. I mean, we can get down. What does he want to get down about? So you're going to fight Jason Lee? So we both have an interview. Are you going to fight Jason Lee? And I rushed to get mine out. It didn't come out. I, I took you like 48 hours to get it out. You know why you rushed? Yeah, because it was viral. You're trying to backdoor Jason. It, back door implies that I like did something deceptive to him. You did. No, I did not. Did you know that they did an interview up there with him? Yes. Okay, and because of that, you want to rush and get your content out. Yes. That's called capitalism. Snake shit. Rushing your and product hold on. to the market. Come on. You snake me. Can you communicate with me? Stick to this Jason and, Lee thing because I'm no. trying. I want you to try to make sense. And Sharp just said use a low down dirty dog because Blueface has always been his content, and you went against the grain and took some shit that he by right should have been fucking doing an interview. Sharp, what? he just said that shit. Did right he now. seriously say that? Really just said, said that. that shit. That's we was insane. like, oh shit, he out there. you backdoor the interview. I had. Boss on you? my platform, I interviewed Blueface <laughs> multiple times, like three or four years before I even met Sharp. So Sharp the idea said, that Sharp is indebted to be on every piece of content that I do with Blueface is insane. Sharp is saying that his content with his interviews with Blueface, the numbers are far better than yours. He had one that went super viral because Krishan Ra got dragged out by security. Now, if Sharp feels that way. Yeah. That's that's an issue. Because he want to beat yeah. your motherfucking ass, but I, mean, I don't think he's going to chat out. I know about that. You yeah. know, he said he got the people at community already telling him to come that way. <laughs> they should, I don't yeah. know what's happening. That's a sinking ship right there. What is? Community? Nah. Sinking ship. It's, you know what a sinking ship is? Here. Hold on. Yeah, it's a, when you talk about nephew and them, you know what that sinking ship is? What? A submarine. And it really get dangerous. You can't just like have a ship turn no. into a submarine because it they went under. <laughs> That's why it's dangerous. Shout out to community, my nigga ADT Rail. Yeah, I'm you praying for him, man. They, yeah, they had to cancel AD back on Fig today. ADT Rail kind of made you and saves you, bro. What? They did save you. Oh, I'm not going to lie. That's what they said on Clubhouse. On, yeah, they said it. This doesn't yeah. make it true. I mean, AD didn't save you? Save me from what? What did I get saved from? What milk came up there to beat your motherfucking oh. ass, AD didn't save you? Yeah, that was, that was a real threat. Did he save you? No. I love how you bring this up. I give a day. black man credit when credit's due. I've right? been doing great at not talking about them, yeah. and here you are breaking my streak. Yeah, shout out to um, me and Tasha K. We we got our thing right. Good looking out, Tasha. Shut the f up. You did shout not out Tasha K. What? Shout out you that did new not talk to her. 
Adam, why are you, why you don't want a black man to speak to a black woman? I want it's you to. Like I just don't believe that this it's happened like and that I'm just finding out about it now. Who are Let's you? Let's start there. Who are you? <laughs> you should tell me right away if you're talking to my closest confidant, Tasha. Who? That's my homegirl. <laughs> Tasha, yo, listen. God damn. I said, you know, you know how long I, yo, let's be real. What's that? Tasha, Tasha been around a long time. True. Um, I think she made her, her debut in um, New Jack City. <laughs> yeah, she, <laughs> she was did. playing Pookie. That was Pookie love. <laughs> she, Tasha was Shout Pookie. out Tasha in their <laughs> Yo, y'all pull up Pookie. That's See, I knew you didn't talk to her. Look at you. <laughs> Tasha K, that was her debut. You're thinking of Chris Rock. No, Pookie. Tasha K was Pookie. Didn't Chris Rock play Just, Pookie? Yes, she looks in that like movie? Chris Rock. Yeah, a little or, bit. Or was that like we're a gonna different. Respect, we're going to respect Tasha's talents by being able to play a man. Okay. I just want to confirm who Pookie was. New Jack. Tasha K. Pookie with the crack You're What lying. are you talking about? New Jack City. <laughs> Yo, Beats, what are you Yo, I don't know what he's up? talking about, man. You know who Pookie there is. Come is. on, man. Yeah, yeah, I just couldn't remember. I just wanted to make Let sure. Let me see her. You know what Pookie did? Let me see her. Remember? Who is that? her? <laughs> that That's her. Not. Pookie. Pookie. Let's see if you go keep it real. Don't make light of Chris Rock's <laughs> pain. He's been through a lot the last oh, couple man, years. He got smacked yeah. in the oh, face, bro. Will barely hit him. Oh, yeah. No, he clobbered and, him. And, you know, and for that, you already know how Will repaid him. Yeah. How? You know, Will and Jada, they did their thing. They went over there and had a threesome. You, you, didn't, you didn't hear about that? See, you didn't make shit up. You make it shit up and you brought he, him he, to he agree let, with everything he, you say. Nah, bro. <laughs> he let him hit. He let him. He let Chris Rock get his thing off. Hey. No, but what we do know this now. Nigga army <laughs> fatigue. We like know that Chris Rock, Chris Rock asked Jada Pinkett on a date prior to the slap. Bro. A That's couple a years prior. In fact, the slap, he said, look, the only way I won't sue you, if you let me hit that thing. He said, how about we do it together? They said, deal. Boom, boom. That's it. Paste it up. That would be pretty cool. Now they was fucking. I'm just being Jada. real, bro. Jada ain't tripping. <laughs> Jada. So how long have you been free? Uh, about three, 2020. Three, three years. years. Oh, okay. Yeah. So three you years. got it in. Oh, so okay. You you were doing the clubhouse the thing behind he bars. He runs the security and... on the honey side. Really? He got a squad called the Crash Out Squad. Crash Out like Squad. Shout out Crash Out Squad. So you know when Shout I move the around, side. You already know I have it is. like 10 YouTubers. They follow me, and I got security that follows me. In case I don't want to do the bullshit, I pull them up, and then they, you know. What does security do in a clubhouse? Right? We make sure no weak bitch ass mother come up there trying to talk to whack on some weirdo shit just ask him hey how's your daughter cyber nah, the fuck up. security meta security yeah so if i try to like send you a virus could he intercept that listen if you came on my stage <laughs> and i didn't feel like addressing you yeah. i just go on mute and you could talk to these crazy yeah. motherfuckers but so you can't do that normally you want to get packed out on camera want to we'll see how to pack out goes no i'm all right okay all he'll right. pack your ass I'll out pack you the up right here. You're lucky, you're lucky I didn't trying. bring levels. Lucky I didn't bring levels for the trinkets. Pack you right the fuck up right here yep. on this camera. No jumper right Cause now. Because we got a pack oh, out. Man. Did you hear when r b packed out deer? Packed that fuck out of deer. Packed, packed out. Packed out. These that was just, different. These are just all clubhouse people you know. How many hours yeah. a day do you spend on clubhouse? Uh, it depends, man. I got a lot going on at home. No, shout out no, to my wife. Did. Shout out to my kids. But I'm going to tell you, you what's coming up. Does it take away from your, you your marriage sometimes? Shit out of that bitch. I love that bitch. I f*** the shit that she gives me. This morning before I got down here, I got some pussy. I said, I'm going to no jump around. I want some pussy. That bitch gave me some pussy. And I talked to her just like that. Bitch, go give me some pussy. How, go give me some pussy. Like, get, get me some pussy. Get, hey, go, yo, go fetch some pussy. Hey, I yo, talked to her just like that. How long have you been with her? Uh, it's about five years. You sound so motivated to still get some pussy after yeah, all these years. That That's shit. fire. I mean, yeah. fact, like, listen, everybody ain't did what you did. Yeah, How, long were you yeah. How long were you locked up? How long were you locked up? No, you see, you're trying to run. Five. You're trying to run, Adam. Everybody hasn't done what you. I would lose motivation if I was you, too. To do what? To my woman told me another dude fucked me and stretched my body out to where it took me seven days to adjust to my man. Yeah, I'm not cool with that, Adam. Three days. I'm not cool with that, Adam. I'm not cool that you did that. This is like the This is like a greatest hits episode from all the other episodes of this podcast. You're just like sort of trotting out all your <laughs> yo, listen, subject matter. <laughs> yo, listen, I know they didn't send you some shit because I've been getting into some shit. What that say, bro? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nifty nickel. Oh shit! Right. Yeah, yeah. Mac we trust. You don't know. You know what? I can't hate on it. I seen him at the dude doing zoo. Stuff. I seen him at the zoo. He was doing some wild shit at the zoo. I ain't yeah, gonna I lie. Can't hate on. I, he doing this shit. I, he's a savage man. I, he belongs in the zoo. I, if I, you ask me. I was like, what the? <laughs> f <laughs> on who? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna be. I was thinking about crib back the other day, right? Pause. But okay. No, for real shit. Here? This because at one point I wanted to do some business with him. It's okay. Real shit. What kind? 
I was going to create the match. fight, and then I wanted to manage him as a comedian. Let's keep doing that. I had the play set up. Let's do that. And it's like, I don't, like, I want to blame him, but understanding um, how he trusts so much, so and he trusted people around him, what they tell him. He's got a big heart. Yeah, and I think he's starting to understand that some people didn't play with him, like the little dude, the crackhead dude. The little crackhead OEM. OEM. Yeah, the one that got caught with the burner and then didn't go to jail. Yeah, yeah, him. Yeah. He told Crip Max some shit because he was in fear that I was going to, like, step in and, and, you know, on what he was doing. And I told Crip Max, I don't want to have nothing to do with your music. I'm going to set you up for this fight, spin you off. But a comedian shit, I had him set up. For a good fight, too. Writers, I had him on, ready to go on Nick Cannon show. All that shit, wilding out, had him set up. I had called my people, Country Wayne, all the comedians I knew that was going to help me out. Like, whack, we, we with you, right? And um, I think, you know, they tell him something, and he didn't even realize they was telling him, hating on him, knowing what I could have did for him. Because mm. regardless of not, he a crip, but he part of the West Coast culture, and I'm all for that. 55th yeah, Street. Yeah, Lunch, Paul yeah. Root. You don't know no color lines right culture, here. No color and lines. I got a, 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 a play for you. I'm going to give it to you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You do so, business with many gang members. Yeah, I don't give a f about none of that. From other sets. Care. But I've been going, man. I've been in the DR. I was uh, St. Thomas. You got that lipo? Is that why you're wearing this movie? No, 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 no. No, this is Scarface shit. Where you yeah, get some Scarface, some Scarface drip? Scarface shit. That's some different yeah. ass drip right there. I've seen it. Yeah. Oh, that's a fleece too. Yeah. Should look like a Patagonia. Yeah. What the yeah. fuck is Whatever that? Whatever the fuck that is. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck that is, Wack. I ain't gonna lie. We don't get <laughs> Patagonias. <laughs> yeah, so, I don't know what I mean, the fuck that is. I've been a lot going on and you've been, I've been noticing. So listen, this is the thing, bro. Uh -huh. You got a lot of these little dudes, right? You be trying to censor me. Plenty dudes. For me running their names, right? But. Every time they get, like, they need my name for the content. I'm trying to negotiate a peace treaty between you and Brick Baby and Crip Mac. Well, I really don't. Listen. It's like I Palestine really and Israel. Look, Crip Mac, <laughs> I don't hold him accountable as much as I do Brick Baby. Okay, you see Brick Baby as more of a peer. Zaire been lying. Lying. Zaire come from a good family. He got his ass shot up, and they sent him to Atlanta. He mm -hmm. never handled his business out here. You know, he been he do two extra out. And I ain't going to, people calling me, they know Zaire personally. Right? Good family. Sister does real estate. Great family. Mom and step pops was balling up in Detroit. He was the you one know. that got robbed. Didn't he get robbed in Atlanta? Yeah. So, but with him, he got to clear up the fact that he put it on his neighborhood and dead homies that he had paperwork on me telling on Stutterbox. Mm -hmm. Stutterbox himself will come on this show and tell you, Wack ain't told on me. He will tell you this. All of this shall be discussed when we do our peace treaty, right? Who? You and Brick. I'm going to bring you guys together. We're going to create some cohesion. Because you guys both got to come to my birthday party. I tell you this. You got to come to the birthday party. Brick, Ray J has a new show. Okay. I think Brick could fit in there. What's it called? Um, <clears throat> It's all transgender. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, he might look uh, all right over there. He might be all right over there. transgenders in the house. I refute that. He is not a transgender. The Naughty Nerd no. is over there. R&B is managing Naughty Nerd. Um, uh, some people like Mangina, like some crazy shit. Community yeah. note. Brick Baby is not trans. First of all, stop using community in this topic. Yeah. Community yeah. note, like on Twitter. I'm not. You're going to respect cuh. nephew now. Not the cuh. Yeah, okay. Calm. <laughs> Community <laughs> note. <laughs> No. Hey, yo, so look. You getting paid you by them? You ducked me on. No, that's them my nephews, man. They're my, you know, I f them niggas my family. Okay. But you ducked me on the Troy Ave shit, bro. What? I don't appreciate that, bro. What Troy? Oh, oh. Troy oh. Okay. Nah, you want to have this conversation now? Yeah, we building, bro. We building. I, I, that's, he, he, his podcast, he put in my hands. Right? The He's Troy willing Ave to podcast. do whatever deal you want to do. Let's plug it. And make his show. I just don't know if it really makes sense for us to have another podcast with somebody who the fans of No Jumper are not necessarily bought in on. He lives on the other side of the country. He's I just doing don't... his own content and he's sending it in to your people to handle the editor, whatever you want to do. I'm open minded. It just doesn't. I, I'm not really seeing the vision. Well, you a white guy. Yeah. But I do I own the platform that he's attempting, that he, you apparently want his content to I be on. I don't see the vision of you <laughs> and this motherfucker Flacco. Yeah, but I don't know what y'all got going on. You think Flacco needs too. to go? 
I'm just saying, if you can have a Flacco show, this is real shit. There's no way. We don't really have a Flacco show. That's the problem. I <laughs> think we need to put another two, three shows that you're not obligated to be sitting in the seat. Right. That is under this umbrella. And they're giving you the control of edit. You put it on your platform. The finance is going through you, and then you're distributing. It's just, it takes a I lot. I think you hate no New York, It bro. takes a lot Why of talent hating? for people to really want to watch Why are you hating content. On, even with an audience well, as big as ours. It, let's give it a probational period. Okay, but who's your dream team that you think could work in one of he these He already shows? has his crew, his team. He's oh, going to do everything. But the Troy Ave podcast that I've seen is just him. No. Nah, nah. He no, got a female he, with he him, too. He got two, three people. He got Wolf. Oh, okay. Wolf, Wolf is the over trenches. there. Shout out Wolf over the there. trenches. But what I'm saying, you got all these other point Dexter motherfuckers. Troy Ave is a very funny guy. I watched him just fight eight people over there when he had his court ordeal, and he silenced all of them. You mean on, on Clubhouse? No. Mano the Drano. Mano the Drano. Uh, Chano Mano. What's the Chano, other name? Uh, with it? With no, DC? not Mano DC. That's no. the homie. Why okay. you don't like Mano? The no. other nigga. The fake, the fake revolutionary dude. The one I packed up. Oh, Hassan. No, 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 another one. What the fuck? Beard, the New York dude. Used to be a rapper. He robbed a taxi cab driver. Oh, 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 oh. What the fuck? My son. My son. My son. My son, the non He packed him up. He <laughs> packed up. I can't say it. It's my partner. What's up? Uh, his manager now? Crip, uh, no, the Mac dude. China Mac. Oh, China Mac. Mac. Oh, he China packed Mac China Mac up. Yeah, packed you his ass up real quick. Handle all these guys all at once. Went and talked to his Created pops. Created characters, sold merch, <laughs> made a... Made a a bunch of money, mm. like, bro, packed, like, eight of them up coming at him. So what I'm saying is, let's give him a probational period. Let him shoot his content. He sends it in. Give him the instructions. We put it up on the No Jumper platform. You work out whatever split you want it to be. Let's see how it works. Traditionally, the only times that I've been able to make content work on this channel involving other personalities is when they are very much like kind of part of this thing and they're around and they get to see the day-to-day -day interaction we between also me Supreme and West the other Coast people. Shit. We need to expand. I just don't necessarily know that I could take three people that the No Jumper audience has no connection to and create a show. It's not taking place here. There's no overlap. Troy Ave name is bigger than everybody you got in this building. Definitely. That's definitely bigger. Fact. Definitely bigger. 100. 100. Um, in that's his different. own right that's as different. a rapper, he definitely is. <laughs> that's oh. different. I gotta, okay. I gotta, Plus, yeah. we just bought a liquor store together. <laughs> you and Troy have bought a liquor store. St. Thomas. Yeah, Louis. Sorry, this this is supposed to be that. You, you started a liquor store. No, we already bought. What the fuck? Whoops. Oh, that's some homie yeah, shit. Yeah, that's some homie. That's the homie. Who did that? <laughs> Who made those? FYBJ Man, you know him? That's too many alphabets. Yeah, I, don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> I don't know what. Hey, no that disrespect to him. But you're a blood. I hope to meet you one you're day. You're supposed to like these whoops. Yeah, but I'm not finna eat. You don't eat where you whoop and swallow. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. shit. But it's a great idea. I don't want to open. Where he from? The box. He from Chicago. Chicago. Chirac. He ain't no blood then. Nah, no, that's no, what I'm he, saying. He's from 63rd. He's a BD from 63rd. That's but they're not. I don't think moment? they. I don't yeah. think they push flags. No, 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 they don't have the See, homies. Because they resisted homies, it. Homies, listen. Y'all be hating on white. <laughs> Shout out to um, Alphabet J. What's his name? Yeah, Alphabet J. J. F Y. You know F what? Out of respect, f that. F Y B. No, hold on. I'm going to name this J Main. F yo, bitch, J Main. F Y B J Main. I'm going to learn this yeah. shit because that's disrespectful. I don't know, nephew. <laughs> I got love for Chicago. Shout out to JoJo Capone, my man Kiddo Curry. So F Y B J Main, listen, bro, ingenious idea. It hit different. That's a West Coast terminology. Well, they use it as well. And he, I never heard Chicago use never. Whoop. They be whooping. They over no, whoop. Whoops. They under whoop. No, no, that's West Coast. That's no, that's a whooper. That's a traditional no, L.A. No, no, whooper. No, no. But there's also a Chicago whoop they movement use, going on. They use on phonium. Uh, <laughs> on phonium. Uh, uh, what's the other on one? B -E, on BDE. On BDE. They it's got all that shit. What else? Uh, on Merch. phonium. Uh, on Some King shit. Dave. Yeah, they use they that type of shit. Dave. But I commend him. I rep. Bro, it's a Chicago cat. That's some Chicago shit. F-Y-B, you can remember. F Fuck yo, bitch. Uh, Maine. J Maine. F-Y-B-J Maine yep. from Chicago took it upon itself to create uh, those. The, 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 the rainbow shit right there. That Why was, is there I a rainbow? Know. I don't know either, you man. You think he being disrespectful? I mean, it's, uh, it's because of the color. Is All the nah, colors of the nah, rainbow. Nah, Loops already. Why we you got, put yeah. whoops with the rainbow? With the, the community F -Y -B -J, shit. F-Y-B-J Maine, we got to holler at you. He is not yeah. a zesty disciple. Nah, he's he's in opposition. Now, hold on, now I'm hot. 
What? Nah, we ain't pushing hey, that. We ain't pushing that shit nigga, over why here, you man. Put the rainbow the with fuck? the boot, nigga. We ain't from the community. Everybody go tag FYBJ Main and ask him why he trying to send a subliminal disrespect with man. the name Whoops, knowing that's a Damu turn. These are some good Whoops. Hopefully, FYBJ yeah. Main knows what to do with that content <laughs> I just gave him. Right. I, I, I don't know I if he does. <laughs> you can put the brick in his face. <laughs> now, what's he gonna do with it? Brick up FYBJ man to beat Brick's ass. Who's Brick? Oh, that's a different gotcha. Brick. <laughs> gotcha. I put that Brick in your face. Yo, is that the one said he? Who's the nigga say he robbed Brick, baby? The oh, one that Glizzy. punked you. And Glizzy. The one that punked that you. That said he's not coming over here. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Glizzy. Glizzy. Yeah, Glizzy. Oh, and Glizzy. Yeah, and Glizzy said he robbed him yeah, for two yeah, ounces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Glizzy can't get so these So who was the dude? <laughs> he can't get who these Who was the dude that made you piss on yourself? I didn't oh, piss you a motherfucking lie. About? Security told me uh, that shit. when dude jumped up on Adam, oh, you pissed Richard. on yourself. Famous yeah. Richard. Famous Richard. He flexed on I you? didn't even um, flinch. Venus I was just Serena's, sitting there chilling. Um, father's stepbrother, Richard. Famous Richard, right? What? So listen. You let him flex yeah, on you? I just, I just threw some kids though is nowhere there because it sounded good. That was content. So when oh, he man. jumped up, what <laughs> went through your mind? I'm going to kill this motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, fuck. You oh, seen Crip Mac got up and took three steps back one step forward. Yeah, right. Crip Mac was ready to die for me. He took back one step He was about to keep it 50 he 50 was Street for me. He for the table that he was. He definitely he... was. I was like, what the fuck? Go, get, go help him. He did go what he was him. supposed to do to he make said, it. You ain't going to do nothing to Adam as long as I'm here. I think he had a whoop Crip Mac. And that's ass. why I'm wearing his shirt today. You think he had a whoop Crip Mac? Uh, yeah. Famous Richard? Yeah. He's like this big. But he's famous. Not really. I mean, because of this podcast, pretty Good much. Golly, yeah. Good golly, he, made it he wasn't really famous before. <laughs> He's famous. Is that Little Richard's people? Is he like Little Ken, Little Richard? I don't know a lot about. You know Little Richard, right? Who was he? I don't remember. The, like the gay dude played the piano. I was wop out of the kind of the wop there. Tootie Fruity. Got out the whoop oh, shit. <laughs> he got them community whoops. He got them community whoops. Hey, we up here going up. <laughs> Stop One talking about it. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, Yo. shit. <laughs> yep. Shout out to r b for packing D up. Shout out to the trenches for allowing the discipline to happen. What are you talking about? Shout out to Queen yeah, R&B. You already know we I want to see Lil Richard. Lil Richard. I haven't th thought about this Yo, guy in like 20 years. Yo, you see what's going on? Chicago cat made the cereal called Whoops. Why are you having Lil John come in here? Listen, you about to do something? Listen, no. <laughs> listen. But look what he did with the wording. He made it to Rainbow, bro. What you? Yeah. I think the nigga trying to send us up. Yo, they don't slub. whoop in the shop. Lil Richard's level of zestiness with this yeah. kid, oh, like the, oh, the, the, that the, might be that might be his pop. His mustache is way too thin. Yeah, yeah, it does look like him though. Look at that pop. perm. Yeah, you might have would have did a three. Bro, if you yeah. had like you're a tough guy. If you had that haircut, My brother would have perm. I would never take you serious it. again. But you, you know, they, he said on the, uh, the original was good booty. Good booty and not huh? tootie fruity. Exactly oh, good shit. booty. Uh, Yo, I just got okay, great okay. news. Uh oh, <laughs> my guy Andrew Ruff. He's the pause. and there ain't no sorry, pause. Sorry. You know who Andrew Ruff is? <laughs> no, some respect on his name. Right, right. I don't. He's the GM of fucking Paradigm. Oh, okay. A real white guy. <laughs> he ain't trying to. Fuck I'm not successful enough Marie. to be a real white he guy. Here. Fuck his wife. That will <laughs> kick your. <laughs> Listen, and Andrew what's he doing? What's he I have to? the writer and director for the pun story. Right? Here we go. The what story? Pun. You know, I'm, I'm negotiating. Oh, big, big pun. pun. Yeah, okay. so you know, it was a right, the, the writer's Thought shit. you were talking about a different It was shut pun. down. So to see oh, that yeah. I was about to, to tweak out on this you. was yeah. one okay, <laughs> of the first things that they want to pick up now that they back in, they're back working. For Eliza, this is great. I got to call Eliza. I got to call Eliza. That is a very important pun. Big pun, good pun. Yeah, Hell yeah. Straight up. Shout out to Fat Joe for being supportive of the situation. Greatest pun of all time. Yeah. 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 Shout out Eliza. Shout out the whole pun family. Yeah, for being I'm not a player. I just crush a lot. We know. Yeah. Shout yeah, out to Eliza anyway. and the family. But <laughs> Fat Joe reached out to me and said everybody was saying he wasn't going to support. I knew they was wrong. Fat Joe told me he gave it his blessing. That people weren't going to support the big pun documentary? Crazy. No, that Joe wasn't. Oh. Whatever's going on. I remember I, the Joe I know. The Joe Whack knows. I don't know what they know. He wasn't going to. It's so outside of my comfort zone to even, to, for uh, you to even bring cool up Dre. something from the East Coast. You don't really talk about. Well, I guess in the Troy Man, I got a $3 too. million dollar home on the East Coast. The fuck are you talking about? I just don't we really hear you bringing up East Coast artists that much and shit. We love New York, man. I love New York. <laughs> Let me tell you something. So right before I moved out of New York, I was dating this Puerto Rican girl, right? And one day I bring up Big Pun. 
because I'm a fan, and I think she's Puerto Rican, she's from New York, she's going to love Big Pun. She said, fuck that N-word, just going off. And I'm like, what, what? what is this? Why do you not like Big Pun? And she was still hung up on the video of him beating the shit out of his wife. I never saw the video. I never seen it. But I deal with the wife. I've seen it. It's pretty bad. But the wife is authentic. We need to bring her up here. Sure. I'm going to see if when Liza's in town, she's the, she's. So you know her? No, yeah, I know her person. She's no cut, no filter. She sells you some crazy shit. So you're saying she she took her beatings in stride? No, but she told me some shit that she did. Like, like I wouldn't have never told nobody. Right. Stab somebody? No, just. Shit that she said, I ain't no fucking yeah. angel, whack. Yeah, she, right. she, she did her real. thing. She did her thing. I, I respect her. I was just surprised. Like, if you're a great artist, I'm not really concerned about if you beat your wife up or whatever. That's just not Shout really out to my, my guy, Steve. You know, Stevie Nunez is the one. Oh, Stevie. Yeah, shit yeah up he's a gay ass. Messy Mondays. Yeah. <laughs> Messy Mondays he, he is different. He's openly gay, dude. He openly gay. Bisexual, well, he, he says. He's talking about the DR, right? Yeah, yeah. Puerto he brought You never found an openly gay guy that you didn't like, but then meanwhile, we find one gay crip. And no. all of a sudden, he's blacklisted. Listen, for one, he clout chasing and brought my name up, too. What did he say about you? Some shit about mentioning my... I didn't even like the way he said my name. You need overly to, gay. Yeah, he you said that shit overly gay. What the Glizzy yeah, do. Yeah, yeah I think weirdo that, though, shit. I don't know. I think Aunt Glizzy and, now, and the gay crib now, I will may tell you be this. secretly dating. I yes. got somebody for everybody. Secretly whooping. Yep. For me to do an interview <laughs> with him, I got to bring my brother Ion up here. Okay. Because if he yeah. say something wrong to me... Ion is openly queer guy. Seven foot queer. Seven foot. He, Ion gonna take off on him. <laughs> What's the difference between gay and queer? Um, you gotta ask them. You gotta ask them. Ask them that. I know it's a different alphabet. <laughs> we don't like to be disrespectful I, I, to the, the community. The alphabet be set trip. <laughs> yeah, queer just, just encompasses like a little bit more zaniness. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think I know, queer, I know what bisexual. Queer, you get to like wear a cool hat. Yeah, but Ion, <laughs> if he want to come, Ion got to come because if he disrespect me, Ion. Within the means of the alphabets, go ahead, let Yeah, he'll flash so on. You, he'll you, flash you, you can't fight person. a gay man. You got to bring your nah. own gay little mascot to fight the I other gay I got a gay, gay squad yeah. that, that's going to get out. So you bring the your gays. gay guy. I bring my gay Shout guy. Shout out to uh, Sam Beto, the gays. Yeah. You, you ever do uh, <laughs> cockfighting? <laughs> Who? Cockfighting? <laughs> that's our roosters. <laughs> okay. Where we put yeah. razors on their feet. Yeah, and they yeah. fight you in the backyard. You try to call it something else, weirdo. No, cockfighting. That's some West Coast shit, Mexico shit. I always knew it was cockfighting. What do you call it? We call it, that's what they call it. But when we say it, we're thinking about chickens, roosters. Yeah, roosters. You're thinking roosters. about the pyramid shit you're talking about. No, man. I'm picturing like chickens fighting in a ring. I'm just saying, yeah. maybe we do that, but with gay dudes. I don't do that. Peter, yeah. that ain't me. That's the white guy. <laughs> that's on him. Don't, don't put that correlate on me. me with that. Don't put that on the black guy with the scar face. <laughs> don't, that's the white that's guy. Him. Peter, he put is... That. Promoting that, so you you That's really his. you running scared of the vegans, huh? <laughs> Who you're scared of the vegans? I fuck with the vegans. Not shout no. out to Stat Quo. You my sound brother. like you shook yeah. of the vegans. Something vegan, bro. Is, is you ever had something vegan? Something vegan? What is that? Great. It's like right around the corner yeah. in Toluca Lake. I don't want to eat shitty ass vegan. If food. I, I want to eat it real here, meat, you yeah. would not know it was vegan. Life is too short to eat chicken when you could eat steak. Yeah, you need to stop. And life is way too short to eat fucking tofu bean patties when you could eat chicken or steak or you salmon. You got something against beans? Yeah, what's up? You, you gonna say that with a... What's up with that? You got something against beans? beans? What's up, bro? What fuck you talking about, homie? Yeah. What's you got? I mean, I yeah. What, what, is, it's because I'm Mexican? Yeah. You mess with one bean, you get the whole burrito? Yeah. You ever hear that? This guy got me fucked up. That's <laughs> what American Bozo said. That's why I knocked on his door. Yeah. <laughs> when I first heard that, I thought it was the man, funniest thing I'd ever heard. You better answer that door next time. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, man. Oh, man. So I'm, you're in on this? I'm, I'm just, it's a bad look. It was a bad look. When somebody's knocking at my door, hey, yo, I'm answering the fucking door. That dude, be, listen, let me Let's tell you. Let's get AC on here let with me, you. Let me tell you. How, Can we patch it up? He won't come up here. Really? Yeah. Please arrange that one. I would love to. Please. Yeah. AC, tap in with yeah, me. Yeah. He yeah. tried to make it an issue, listen, but it's just a one person thing. Listen, he went and knocked on that man's door. Listen, man. The fuck you talking that about? That dude been silenced ever since. Yeah. I mean, he's talking about stuff. He's just nah, probably not talking about you, right? He's been shut down. He had a little voice going. Every time you come fucking with whack in a hundred side, right, you get shut down. I love how you bang your clubhouse room and not your game. Hunted E and T. You, like you, you just know. bring up the clubhouse thing you all the time. Last time I was E&T. here, right? <laughs> you was trying to say that NBA Young Boy was the leader of a game. Well, he created now, his own. Now, game. No, he didn't. We watched that's that whole a marketing shit. movement. Now you want to sit here on this YouTube, on this platform, and cockfight and talk about a game, my gang. Well, I'm just saying. 
You know what I'm saying? Are I, you actually, I said I like, I like that you do it. Are you an infiltrator? What do you want? I like that man? you bang <laughs> your clubhouse room and not your gang. Why got to be bang? Why is that representation? Yeah, we can't represent something anymore? That's a slang term. No, that's a term that you trying to use against us. You trying to put us in the trick bag. Mm. Ain't no more big house or white house. I don't even we know. We painted it black, Adam. Can, can you tell me what a trick bag is? Because everybody's saying this now, and I Ain't never no heard this before. That's an OG they word from the seventies, eighties. Is it a Halloween yeah. thing? No, you a get trick bag. Trick or treat. And you trying you, you to set me up, line me up. You know what I'm saying? Line up questions, results. asking some weird shit, and you know the outcome of it. When you, why are you trying to ask yeah, me you this shit to trick? Yeah, you ask face some shit. Talk about, would you have a threesome with whack 100? What kind of weird motherfuckers? Man, you want some different shit with that, Adam? That's what I wanted lie. to know. On some weirdo shit right there. I ain't going. I'm just calling how I see it, man. That I just weird. wanted to know, like, would you guys ever get down like that? You seem like your buddy Woody's. Like you hang out all the time. That's my client, right? But you party together, right? No, I make sure the parties are set up. Why would you not? Okay. I don't no. hang out I already know that with my artists. I do business. We go places yeah. to do business. Yeah. And yeah. we got some personal shit. I know you don't. Birthday party. Because shit. last time we were on this podcast, you told me, oh, there's this big show going on with Blueface and both of his baby mamas. I went. I went out of my way to pull up with my wife, with security, to make sure that I was okay. Protect mm -hmm. me from the, the hundred side goons, as you call mm -hmm. them. You don't got to worry about shit. No, okay. they're a, a and guess terrifying what? Whack wasn't there, right? And Whack wasn't there. Now let oh. me ask you a question. I was out until 1.30 in the morning. Let me ask you a question. What? Was I there? Did you get moved? He Hold was on. there. Hold on. You're Were Adam. you there? Adam. He might have been there. I can't Did remember. Did you get moved <laughs> through there? You did. You got me in. That was no nice. problem. Where were you? What were you Wide doing? Wide open. I had to get on the plane. You were at home in the sauna? No, I had to get on the plane. I had Bodine come down. Bodine? Baby Bodine come down to hell. Yeah, man, we that? got a team. He's the road Bodine? manager. Baby Bodine, schoolyard. Oh, okay. Yeah, the light-skinned guy. But you didn't come to the show? I was there because they're there. You went to Florida, Dominican Republic to <clears> be in a 6 9 video, but you couldn't even go to Blueface's oh, show. It's a show in L.A. So? I had to go get the money. What the money? money on the money. What did Birdman say? <laughs> what we do this for the money on yeah, the money. Do this Yo, for the money. Come from you hear I brought Birdman on Clubhouse, right? I did. Yeah, he fucked Ooh. over our guy Todd. Todd. Well, you was trying to Shout get him to go, Todd, and man, I told from him, the boot. I'm, I'm my too, guy Todd from the boot, well, man. Get, I'm no, too you know, anti you Clubhouse. Got, no, you got to you owe me one on the room. Oh yeah, what are we gonna do? I don't know. We figured out. People want to talk to you. Bring me in there with Birdman. Birdman's coming back to um. We got a talent show. Talent show. The last four or five people are going to come listen. What about having him sit in a chair at this when table? He in town, he'll come. Stunner will come. Stunner will come. He okay. gave a good interview. Good interview. I'm Hope trying to have one. Yeah, because he heard what he said about uh, Gilly. Uh, yes, I did. That was the main headline <laughs> from it. You really were ruling the news cycle that day. Who? You. Well, the content that you created. Me? Content creator? Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah, you at Diaper you salesman? That? Not me. You creating that shit? Not me. Who are you calling right now? Get up. Don't ask me them type of questions. <laughs> he always getting into that no, kind of shit. Right hello on Spotify. <laughs> What's Blueface? hello? That's Blueface single. Don't ask me type of questions. Ask me them type of questions. There's a new single? Yeah. <laughs> Put it on speaker if you're going to call somebody. You always want to see something, Adam. Well, yeah, I want to hear what the person daddies. who's calling is going to say. Hold on, hold on, man. Hold on. Who are you calling? Hold on. Stunner? I'm the number one stunner. Hey, don't be saying his name like that, bro. Yeah, that was kind of different. Don't, be get, don't disrespect Strong. him, Adam. Was that Zestin? Yo, who's this punk motherfucker, Drewski? Oh, some faggot. Whoa. He's a, he's a, he's a uh, 5K9 recipient. Uh, 5K1. No, not him. Oh, what's this that? comedian dude. Oh, okay. I'm about to go <laughs> on. That's the dude from Clubhouse. Drew. Wrong Drew. Okay. Who's this He keeps playing with stunner. Who's that fat motherfucker, Drewski? Who's this dude, bro? The comedian? He keeps yeah. playing with stunner, man. Could have been or something. Yeah, Could have been dude? records. I slapped the fuck yeah, out of him. Yeah, but he was Why? like, yo, I got I don't the police like the way he talks with me, son. Stunner. I got the police. We looking to run into Drewski. Yeah. You're trying to run into him. Yo, won't yeah. you book Drewski to come to No Jumper? Yeah. I don't do the back doors. Please. It's not a back door. No. Walk him through the front door. I do the whoops. I don't, I'm not going to line someone Drewski. up for you. <laughs> we need to talk. <laughs> what has Drewski done that was so offensive that you want to line him up? Man, keep but did he really? Yeah, he keep playing. What did he do? Sex play shit. Sex playing. He put up a picture that was not cool. Somebody from the community and kind of compared it to Stunner. Did he like Stunner? I keep the police with me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a few of us like we're not taking too kindly to that shit. Why can't he just be him? Why? Why does it have he to be, be him? We're gonna put on a pair of steel toes. We're gonna kick him square off in his ass. Soon as we see him. a quick one too. 
Why can't you just let the funny guy be funny instead of having to do some weird gangster shit? You can't be fat and funny at the same time. With with our legends, this is the problem with the community: is that some a young, talented gentleman like him has a bully like you trying to extort him and kick him in the ass with a steel-toed boot. Why are you disrespecting? Why are you calling me a bully? Drewski is under the Drake (laughs) protection plan. Number one, Drewski. Uh. Hey, listen, (laughs) for him disrespecting Stunner, he ain't up under Drake nothing. Oh, that's a good point. I'm sure Drake could work out whatever's going on here. But Drake is busy doing his own thing. Him and Joe Biden. Yeah. Yeah, they got a little yeah. ongoing you thing. You seen going what on. happened? You seen the video clip, right? I did. When they ran into each other. They didn't <laughs> run into each other. Drake and Joe Biden. You ain't seen the clip? When? Three days ago. Mm, no. You ain't seen I got the clip. It would be absolutely impossible for this to happen and me not to know. You ain't nobody, Adam. It would have been on every page, including you are ours. in our community. Right. We let you know what we want you That's to know. That's the problem is I am if paying way people, too close of attention to your, your community. If your people don't get the content, <laughs> you don't know. Now, all the brothers with the black iPhones... We have the content. Joe Budden Drake Google search. That's a that's Google. Google would be lying. Google is, is you know home to shit? all of the world's knowledge. Man, I can tell you some <laughs> shit that they went on the last two weeks that the world don't know about. Why don't you put it on Google? No, can't do it. <laughs> or Clubhouse at least. Now we saving that to charge the white guys like you for the content. Just a little bit. A little You're going to charge me on I Clubhouse? I told Sharp I was going to give it to you. Sharp like, nah, he took my blue face, Jaden and Alexis content. <laughs> charge that motherfucker. He said, cut him off, whack. Sharp man, the motherfucker, bro. Yeah. Good. That was his interview. You know that was his interview. <laughs> that was insane. I mean, I can't think of anything worse for him to be mad about because there is no conversation, if that is a real thing. And I'm not going to try to, I'm not going to let you gaslight like, me. He felt like you keep, I'm not, no, bro, he was just out. He was right there. Yeah. We was talking. There's no conversation. Huh? Definitely conversation. There's no conversation. I interview whoever I want. Yeah, Nobody gets to tell me who I don't get to interview. He said if you keep playing with him, you're going to lose another one. If you lose him, yeah. lights out. He said he halfway out the door. I think we'll be all right. No, I'm just fine. He ain't said <laughs> I ain't going to put that on. I ain't going to put that on, Sean. That'd be me on some bullshit. See, I, if I interview Spider Log, how am I not going to ask him what's going on with his tension with you? This is, I ain't seen this weirdo in five years. You had just posted a bunch of shit about him that day on Instagram. What day? What did I post? The day that I interviewed him. What did I post? His, his alleged home and car. That was his home? I nah, said his name? That's I mean, that his seemed home. to that be the idea, car? right? That ain't his home, Who I don't said think. That? Uh, that's what you were saying, I believe. I said that? Show me where I said that. I don't have the records saved. So use a white guy. Who provoked his other bozo, mental midget. You posted his house. I would say that you provoked it. No, I didn't provoke shit. How is that not provocative? It was a house on the corner. So he told you that was his house? He said that he owned that house as well as some other house. Oh, hey, he said it, not me. Hey, what? Got hey. him. <laughs> oh, shit. Got him. That must have hurt. That must have hurt seeing your house. Oh, I thought it was just a normal house on the block. Shout oh, out to my man. cop, the Crips. Shout out to my cop, the Crips. Jesus Christ. The reach is <laughs> the reach. Did um, he claim the old vehicle? I think he posted that after we did <laughs> that episode. You know my shit comes in phases. Hey, you want to know what I went to and saw? What? The Taylor Swift movie. You should have gone. What's that? Taylor Swift. I fuck with Ye. She's an American. <laughs> I fuck with Ye. <laughs> Yo. Who's that? An American I, singer-songwriter. Who's that? I fuck with Ye. Isn't that the one that I got? I fuck with Ye. Yeah. Right. And she took a huge W over him and that whole thing. Remember Obama called him a jackass? Called who? Who's Obama? Kanye. I fuck with Ye. You mentioning names that I don't know. It's Last very rare, very Kanye rare. He denounced the name, did he not? Almost nobody in their life, for especially in the Yay pre-Donald Trump fucking. era, almost nobody will fuck up so bad that the president calls them a jackass. You talking about Obama? A historic misstep. He talking about the one that passed all the but laws. Obama the really shouldn't have been president. Why not? He only got voted in because he was black. <laughs> <laughs> all the black people voted, went to vote because he was black. We didn't give a fuck what he was going to do. I mean, probably a lot of truth to that, but at the same time, I think he was I wanted a pretty good Hillary president. to win. It's pretty consummate I wanted professional Hillary to win individual. I felt like Hillary was running the world with Bill was in there anyway. Because yeah. Bill was just getting his dick sucked. That yeah, was, only, I, that was I like one that. time, right? It don't matter. Oh. He was up there doing his thing. Nah, that's the one time he got caught. You really yeah. think that's the first time? He put a cigar in her pussy. Hey, I don't know nothing about that. It's gangster as fuck. I don't know nothing about that. Why are you behind. acting like that's some secret shit? That's out there in the media, too. I don't know nothing about that, bro. Put a cigar in her pussy. That's, that's kind of disgusting. Bro. You ever smell a cigar? 
That's crazy. I hope yeah, it was still in the wrapper, that? but even that's kind of disgusting, too. Did he do that? I wanted to be kept a cigar, the saturation of the vaginal juice on the... Imagine this oh, weirdo shit. sitting around just... I wonder if she was able to had enough grip to make the cigar burn. Smoke that bitch through your pussy. Shout I don't think... Usher, let it burn. <laughs> I don't know that a vagina could ever become an incendiary device. Yo, Soldier Boy said he's going to come up. Let's do it. Him and homie waxed off from fruit. Talks about me on Instagram live every day. Who? Soldier. He thinks you're scared of him. Yeah. How am I scared of him? That's a big soldier. Why would I be big, scared of him? Big soldier's That's been big tripping soldier. lately. I am not worried about soldier. And he boy. said if you act right, he might let you wear one of his pieces doing an interview. I'm okay. He's not gonna change. No jumper. <laughs> no jumper. <laughs> no jumper. <laughs> oh shit. Adam. I will not be shot. I'm not gonna get chained by Soldier Boy. <laughs> Yo, I've been going crazy. Yo, will you go to the Taylor Swift movie with me? It was my kid's first ever movie. Yeah, I don't even know. Uh, look, I'm a yay. You don't fan. know who she is. Yeah. I know who she is. She's incredible. She's way better than Kanye. She? Yeah. She's better than Kanye. More talented. So, is she Caucasian? She's like the biggest artist in the is world. Is that why right you're saying that? No, but I like how you bring everything back to would that you immediately. Fuck? Would you fuck her? What do you think? I'm just saying, would you do a threesome with her and your wife? I've done a lot worse. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why don't yeah. you make it happen? Um, well, the thing is, is that she's one of the most successful, richest women in the world. So I respect that. I somehow yeah. doubt that she would want to have sex with me. You never know. And I acknowledge that I am of a very high value, right? But to put it into perspective, <laughs> her... Her new dude had to spend six million dollars on a new mansion just so that he could have a little bit more of a private getaway with her. Are you talking about what's his name? Travis. Travis. Yeah. No, I'm Travis from, Scott. I know who Taylor Swift is. Yeah. Kelsey, I'm, yeah. I'm sitting here fucking with you. <laughs> I salute any woman, any female who's hustle game and then a boss of their game. But okay. She gets into the relationship with this fucking. I can't football wait to your player. wife. Football Chris player. rocks your ass. Football player. Stay yeah. on top of it. She gets into a relationship with you this see, football player, right? I know, because you just start <laughs> talking about some other random shit when I'm in the middle of a fucking I'm sentence like you're not on a podcast. <laughs> Lower your voice, white boy. Yo, he getting When hostile. I'm asking getting you a question he getting hostile. and you just ask about some other you random shit in the middle of the sentence. You know your security is secure out I'm here. trying to help you be a better podcast. Don't make me sit a When I'm mid pot when I'm mid sentence and you just start another sentence, that's what we call bad podcast. That's what we call we run this shit. So, Come okay. on, man. We run this shit. You see the lean right now, Adam? Yeah. See the shoulder lean? We that's run that's this shit. Running shit. Why are you leaning into him, Mike? Come on, man. Nah, this, is, this is the lean. This that's not as good as you think it is. See the snarl? We run this shit. A snarl? So we run this shit. I'm not feeling the that's snarl. That's baby do. Extra out ass. <laughs> weirdo. Let's go. He don't yeah. lean. All dope fiend out. He's on lean. Uh, come, right. uh, come on, man. You seen him talking about really to be true. Why are you ducking this podcast with him? Why are you ducking this podcast? Is he okay? Why won't you sit down and do a fucking pod with him so you can stop trying to make <laughs> viral no. content with him over and over. No. Oh, shit. Well, whenever I hear him utter my name, I'll utter his. And I just got some photos. He better chill out. Of what? Come on, man. Let's just say some Benzino style shit. I got some photos of you. <laughs> some Let's just say they were like real Zaired out. I have a, a whole dos dossier of photos of you in compromising positions. Put them up. It's it's a WAC 100 style Gotta thing. Gotta get your ass whooped. What? Yeah, WAC yeah. has never been in a compromising position. Oh, I've got yeah. compromised. Well, the only compromising position phone. that I've ever been in is when law authorities have uh, restrained me and handcuffed me and put me in a police car because my hands be on my back like a slave. I've never been in a compromising position. I'll, I'll bet you 100000 you can't produce that. I will be sending them to the Jason That's Lee better 100000 Okay, fine. I don't have compromising photos of you. But I bet I can get them. I bet I can get them. Yeah, yeah. Watch your mouth. Anybody who wants to send me incriminating photos of WAG 100 in compromised positions... And all the brothers who have Adam's wife in a compromised position, <laughs> yeah. send them to me. Shoot them. The brothers only. What did you think of that photo? Let's, let's get your reaction to that photo. The spy. What photo? 37 Which of one we got? I want to get your who reaction to... Who is it, Adam? This photo. Your Adam's wife, I fuck with. This you was very know. viral. 40 million I, I, views on Twitter. I didn't understand it. That, that, that. Why are he looking at no, your... Why I, I didn't under, at like, titties? I didn't know, I what do you think? It. I just want to no, get your wife, reaction to Your wife is beautiful in this photo. Thank you. I know Crip Max there, but I didn't... Like, what's the I'm not, significance of the not, photo? What nah. does this photo make you think happened? That they all want to fuck your bitch. No, nah, I didn't know. I just thought it was some of the I'll cast members. Hmm. 
behind your wife. I didn't I didn't think nothing of it. I saw it. I only one I knew is Crip Mac. Mm-hmm. Who's other people? Or what does it represent? For oh, real? it's just a bunch of adult male stars. Oh, those are porn stars. Yeah, I don't watch porn. Yeah, all so of them besides Crip Mac. <laughs> Oh, I don't watch no. porn, so I don't know. <laughs> like, if I watch porn, it's two women. Right. So I don't, so I wouldn't know. You're too intimidated to see another man Call doing this thing. You thing. That's gay to me. Call you it watching you a want. man and a woman fucking watch my porn. My middle name is Clarence Clark. Gay. You think it's I ain't gay? watching no, no other man and woman. I'm f- watching a female and a female. Certain, there's I'm certain opinions that I Clarence just can't Clark. take yeah. serious. If you think it's yeah. gay for a man and a woman to have sex, I'm, I'm not sure that I can. I'm not trying to watch it. I'm not sure we can I'm not trying to watch that shit. Do you know what that means? What? My middle name is Clarence Carter. Your name is Whack. Middle name is Clarence Carter. Uh, I be stroking. I don't understand the I reference. I know because you're a white guy. Yeah. Right. Who's you know, Clarence talk Carter? Elvis, Cult- you know. Cultural difference. You know Elvis, right? Yeah. The guy that fucked the 14-year-old? You know him. You fuck with him, yeah. right? Well, that was a different time. Yeah, I know. Whatever. Right. Just keep it going. Watch your step. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Watch your step. Down. It was a different time. He died on the toilet. <laughs> Right down there, y'all listening to audio. <laughs> they just black one hundred is holding up his right <laughs> fist as power to the people and a black Scarface hoodie. You should kneel in the middle of the podcast to make a it, statement. I'll I like never that. mention you <laughs> kneel to me. Yeah, yeah, what the life. fuck was that unless about? Unless you talking about Neil, Neil Armstrong. The, yeah. Unless you talk about Neil from the Gambino family. Neil That's deGrasse Neil Tyson. Neil Delacroix. That's it. Neil Delacroix. Delacroix. There's a lot of good Neils Yo, out what's there. What's going on with this right here, Adam? This uh, King Palm. King Palm. Oh my God! I don't even. Want, why the <laughs> fuck is it called King Palm? I don't you know. You always got some old shit. freaky shit. Yeah, bro. some different kind of community. I think shit. it's more like a palm tree or like a palm leaf. Okay, so who is this from? Who's endorsing this? Well, Game is on that one in particular, right? Hmm. Some sort of ga- the 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 Game Leaf Tube. King Palm. Red. That's velvet. the best one of them all. Squeeze and pop to activate. That is the best one of tips. them all. These pack one gram each. This is not an advertisement. This is terpene infused tobacco free. That's the best one of a ball. King Palm. You make sure you get the game edition. Yes, make sure you get that right. one. Game's gonna be going to um, what's the dude? Hey, look, they made blue grape, but there's no wrapper on it. They should have made grape grape. Shout out to my boy Runchy. Yep. Gray Street Watts up. It's all love. My boy KP. My boy KP is Speedy. So you know Speedy? No. Speedy is the crip from Hard Time Hustler. Who Toy Lanes is very tight with. Okay. And you know, he's making sure Toy's straight on the yard. KP is his Sully from Gray Street Watts. My okay. brothers. They call me, you know, every other day. Shout out to everyone protecting Toy Lanes. He ain't delaying No, he really don't need protection. He's just making sure he's straight. Let me ask you a question. Toy doing all he up attached. Let me ask what you up? a question. What's going on with X4? Uh, you want to interview him? I've already got lined up. I actually already interviewed him and we're going to yeah, redo but it. Yeah, scrapping that interview. How do you know? Wag knows everything. Who told you what? What'd you hear? X4 interview got to come through me, bro. I mean, I already had him on here without you, no, and no, I talked and, to him. And that's getting scrapped. Yeah, not because X4, you went. X4 interview, Adam. Right. Don't violate me. Got to be Adam and Wack. No. You don't know nothing about our culture. <laughs> Adam Wack, that's it. You and no, this is the problem. Shit. The reason why the other interview and got nigga, scrapped. I'm going to tell you why no, the no, reason, because no, 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 no. you stupid the motherfuckers. The reason why the interview got scrapped is because... He didn't get a chance to speak I'm because you both why, of the other people no, on the no, podcast were talking like scrapped. crazy the whole time. You had a bozo out here because I'm looking out for X4. Now he want to insert himself, right? Lick He's baby. who in, introduced Lick me baby. to him in the first place. Fuck he knew about him way before you did. But he never was promoting his music like Yes, me. he was. No, he wasn't. He told so me listen, about his music. Then let me tell you what the bozo did. Instead of being X4 and him, he brings up Pee Wee. And he wants to talk to Pee Wee because he wants the fans to know what he was doing at 10 or 11 or 12. Whoa. I don't think that was his idea. Whoa. I don't think he In the meantime, Pee Wee loses track, not knowing, not thinking, and drowns out X4. I said, Pee Wee, you should have never sat in that seat. The right. interview should happen with whacking out of anyway. You talk way too much when I'm interviewing people with, with you. We First haven't really all, even done it. Look at the way you did TQ. You're intimidated. You drowned him well, out Adam, the entire Adam, time. It ain't that I talk you too have much. Not shown that me, you don't run shit when I'm sitting at the table. You haven't bro. really shown this me. This is why my people tune in. Because you be talk? punking this our people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't See, run this, shit, bro. This thing you're doing right now yeah. is why I'm not really Are trying to interview someone with you. It don't matter. It's going to happen yeah. with you're me You're going to anyway. just talk over them the whole time like you did with TQ. Don't feel pressed, Adam. There's a level of restraint that I would kind of need to see from you in order to really want to interview a new artist with you. You're not dictating First of no, all, I'm just telling you why I wouldn't all, be inclined to do that culture. interview with you. Yeah. How, How you gonna fuck? You don't know nothing about music. Why would you do music? a podcast about the culture you with somebody who doesn't music. do, who isn't part of the culture? You don't know nothing about music. 
then how did I even end up in this position in the first because place? Because you was culture vulturing yeah. off our young black dudes on SoundCloud. Culture if I am culture vulturing, then culture I'm doing vulturing. such an unbelievable You're doing job. A great job. I even seduced you, Paz, into You're doing this podcast. You're pretty good at it, though. No. But okay, yeah, if, actually, if you were to want to do that episode with me, I would just have to like really understand, have an understanding that you were going to like not talk over him the whole time. First of all, that's what you bozos did. Uh, not I. Y'all should have shut the fuck up. And I did shut the fuck play. up. I was trying to gear the guide the interview in the direction of him talking. It was no, just why didn't was, you? Why didn't you kill it? Kill you what? You could have stopped it and said, hey, "Yo, bro, you got to dismiss yourself because you draw on him out." And came back in, edited, it, and kept the interview going. That would have been Y'all very awkward. Your time. Shout out X Four. Neighborhood Fody Crip. He one of the hottest artists coming up out at Los Angeles. Y'all go check him out, X Four. He's got a great X-Fo. interview coming. Yeah. With me. Do it right by yourself. We have Zoe Sam up here yet? Yeah. Huh? Who did he interview with? Uh, One of these bozos? T-Rail. Who? So, yeah. No, T Rail and no bozos. <laughs> yeah. How long ago was that? <laughs> we need to bring Zoe Sam up here. Year. With us. Okay, there. He's Shout already been eight. on the platform and done like a basic interview. So, him coming on with you back with and you doing the thing where you try to steal the attention coast, from him the whole time? Mary. That I could kind of imagine. On. Man, listen, X Fogo interview with Wack and Adam. No. But show, see, you yeah. want the clout. You a hater. No, I just need you, you to. Want the clout. Where are you getting involved in this oh, conversation? This conversation doesn't have anything <laughs> to do with you. Why are you hating? The Adam? conversation I is about. You already, we was interviewing that. I would Did not. not you no. tried to backdoor me. No, Go no, no. look at your text message. I interview who I want to interview, and I interview them Adam. with whatever co host I want to But have. guess what? X Floor is a black guy, a rapper. And he's going to dictate who he wants. And I really, I want him to do a good interview. Exactly. I do too. So that's why I'm saying that. How you think I know y'all scrapped it like y'all fucked it up? I didn't fuck it up. I'm getting calls way in the DR. Y'all didn't drown him out of his interview. Yeah, well. Some bo- ain't no yeah, well. Do there's right. very, very few times. In Wasting fact, almost time. no times. Expo, keep doing what you're doing. But see, this is the thing that you're doing is you're like not letting me talk and just talk. talking over me the whole time. Talk. That's a liability as this, a podcast. This is 2023. It's not, not ideal. Not 1723. But do you accept that you have to work on that? Work on what? Not talking over the other Yo, person. People like this style. You want to do the basic format. Yeah, but I think we could get to a better conversation if you were to Our let the other people. are great. See, you just did it again. A mid-sentence, and you just start talking over me. You intimidated by a black man with a voice? Yeah, it's yeah, not I ideal. So. I would like to think that as Nobody's we, okay, here to see, make you comfortable, You, you just Adam. did it again. You just did it I'm again. I'm not here to make you comfortable. You just did it again. There, Adam. Whack. You, I think you should care more about doing good <laughs> podcasting. Adam, let me be real, bro. And that's going to involve not talking over the guests Adam, or me out. as much as you currently Adam, do. Adam, check this out. My style of podcasting works for us. Uh, it you works in the sense that we are doing it. I'm just saying it could be better. You know why, Adam? You want to do it the standard way. Fuck that. I'm a renegade. We're going to do it our way. And the, and the, and the fans are not complaining. Right. Your biggest numbers now, right now are with him. We love that shit. I'm you talking him. to him. So the this, this is between me and him. Don't get, don't get packed, packed up. up. This is between me and him. <laughs> you're, you're don't make me packed. go on mute. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, you bringing him to help you in this argument is not going to work. It's not an argument. Listen, respectfully. I just, I'm telling you why I wouldn't Listen, do that interview with you. We, look, we don't give a fuck about what you say you wouldn't do. I'm well, telling I'm you, telling you I'm not going to do that interview You're with doing you. that interview with me. No. I'm going to take him elsewhere. Do it, yeah. To a bigger platform. I don't know that he really cares about <laughs> where you want him to do the interview. Yo, man, don't tell it doesn't me even seem like you, it doesn't man. seem like you have that kind Did of relationship. None of y'all want to talk to him until Wax started pushing him. That's not true. This we knew about facts. him before you. And why the fuck wasn't y'all pushing him? We already no had him lined him. up for the interview before you, you started clutching to him and posting him on your feed. You're a liar. No, I'm not. A liar. You know I'm not lying. Small L capital I. Let's go look and see who's been following him longer. Fuck a follow him longer. It's me. No spoiler. Nobody was. Promoting him. I understand you're trying but to you hitch your wagon to him. Nephew. You're trying to hitch your wagon to him. No, no. Your big old wagon. Nothing. And I'm just telling I'm you. I'm not putting on. I ain't got you're no You're not going to tough guy your way into co-hosting on his interview. Listen, I'm definitely going to be on that And interview. if you were to, it would have to. there would have to be an agreement that you were going to show some restraint. Because all, you I'm, drowning him out seems like a certainty. I would have made sure he wasn't drowned out. You were sitting your punk ass in there. If you were there, it, it would have been so much you're worse. I wouldn't have never let Pee Wee sit down. I'd have told yes, Pee Wee, I'd have said Pee Wee, respectfully, you in your artist's way. Right. 
I'd have told him that. I didn't really know that was going to be the case until we so got cool. into the interview. And you got the other bowls. Oh, he don't know what the fuck he's doing. High as fuck. They got high as a motherfucker. I didn't really know right. that it was going to go in that we direction until it was. Best. So, so you're doing it again. I'm like mid sentence. We want to do it best. Here go the problem. Okay. You want to speak? Ask yes. me to speak. I would like go to be able to permission. speak without you speaking <laughs> over me. I think that would be a lot better for the content. <laughs> Could you imagine how much longer we would be able to create content if you weren't just talking over the other person the whole time? Are you done yet? I mean, I would like a, a serious response. <laughs> Are you done yet? Can I speak now? Yes, sir, master. I feel like you got to get a little more serious about the whole podcasting thing. Man, check this out. You can't tell me what demeanor I can have. I'm an you expert can't tell when it comes me who to, to this stuff. I'm so whack 100. I, you should take my opinion seriously. No, listen, man. You run around here playing with men and ass cheeks and all. I don't take none of that serious. What I'm telling you is this. Whack 100 is whack 100. I want the best for X4. Who you are off camera doesn't necessarily have to be who you are on camera. On camera, you could communicate in a way that is better for the listener and maybe not the exact person that you are when you're off camera. Listen, to all my Caucasian business partners, <laughs> please eliminate <laughs> yourself from what I'm about to say. Listen, white guy. You don't fucking tell me I'm a king. I'm a black king. Do you think you it's don't offensive tell me when what you call me you white? You just did it. You just did it while I was talking. You just did it. So what I'm guilty of, you're guilty of. Do you think I'm offended well, listen, when you call me you're white? You're doing it again. Is that I supposed to be king. like you getting at me? I am a king. You do not tell me what I can and can't say and when I can and can't say it. A king would probably be able to figure out on his own that interrupting constantly during a podcast is not ideal. Nose. You have a booger on the left side. A black one. Get there you go. I didn't want to say nothing because I didn't want him to tell me yeah, anything. A black booger? <laughs> I did what I do. I did what you guys did for us for 200 years. I, don't see I it. lied to you. I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> How about them apples? <laughs> see, Adam, this is what makes our show. That's what makes it organic. This is what makes organic our show, shit brother. right here. You're right. We fuck with it. You're right. A lot of people fuck with the show. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of people fuck with the show. The name you gave it is dope. It's cool. But I fuck with your show, Adam. I ain't gonna lie. I've always respected Adam. And regards to what the breakup was, Adam's the only bro podcast platform. Right? I see him like a a cash money of podcasts. Because he's independent. He's That's like, true. I am a bird man. Yeah, yeah. For yeah. real, you're independent. White bird. He does his own thing. Right? And Wood and bird. The, and the fact that no. he has given a lot of people of color, right? Black, Hispanic, whatever, uh, Samoans or whatever. Definitely. Um, <laughs> opportunity to learn a craft or a trade. And some know. of those people left the platform, and now they're but, having but, a hard time but, paying rent. But AD still respects you. Does he? No, he does. How do you know that? He told me. What did he say? What is no, he said I've never had a problem. With, I've never had a problem with Adam. He's still my bro. I still respect him. We just had. And why did he do that snake shit to me? What did he do? He dipped out, created fake narratives about me, and took all those other motherfuckers. What fake with narrative him. did he create? I've never known that I was a lie. bad friend and I was talking behind his back. You was with that other white boy. Absolutely I don't like not. that white boy lush. I wanted to slap the fuck out of him. I'm not gonna lie. I support lie. you in that endeavor. I that wanted, I can get behind. I definitely didn't like. Why do you want to smack him? Because he just looks like a weirdo to me. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> something about his face. Something about the shit he did after he's created his own shit. When he had like some Day of the Dead shit going on in the background when he was doing his own little podcast. I just thought it was weird. I, I don't like this face either. I yeah. to, uh, his face weird, does bother uh, me. He got a weird face. But he got, I hired him for a couple of months. He got new teeth. Yeah. And then he dips out and starts taking all the hoes with his new teeth. How will you let him do that? I'm just kidding. But I mean, yeah. some people are saying they think he might have relapsed. Oh, he does look like a dolphine. <laughs> he definitely looks like a dolphine. I ain't going to lie. That's why that's easy work right there. <laughs> Who's that, Lush? Yeah, Lush. I don't know him. He came, yeah, he came on the clubhouse. You don't I packed like him the dude. fuck up. I mean, I'm kind of over it. But. You don't like, I don't know what he did. I mean, he was the one he I won't even get Lupe. into he what he did Lupe too. because he had a thing going on at the pop up. You know what the pop up is? What's that? It's like another platform. I'm not 100 percent sure if it still exists right now, but he had a whole gig with going with them. And they told him you're in charge of paying the electricity bill. The motherfucker fakes a money order and gives it to them to prove that he paid the electricity bill. But he didn't actually pay the electricity bill. So the dude, the, there's these other dudes, these Mexican kids who, who do a podcast there and they start telling me that their whole podcast flow got fucked up because the electricity went out for three weeks. Oh, that's crazy. Because he, he, faked, grimy he motherfucker, fake paid huh? a bill. That's crazy. That ain't cool. Oh, he is, uh, he's scamming. That ain't cool. Yeah, he he said I was lying. Because like, I heard it from the fucking horse's mouth. They told me about it, 
And then I said it on my story just because I'm so petty I couldn't hold it in. And then he, I, I guess he denied it. He did a live stream about it or something, but I didn't see it. What I do know is this. I've been thinking about what you told me. What? You said, whack. A lot of these dudes, you beef with a lot of these dudes. And I was like, well, Adam, I really don't know these dudes. And I think what happens is <clears throat> they say shit and they want me to respond on their level, but I respond with some extreme shit and it pisses people off. Yeah. So I'm going to stop beefing with these dudes. Okay. Um, the reason why is because I'm cutting out beef. If I'm cutting out eating beef, I'm going to stop beefing. You're not eating beef anymore? Beef is amazing. So what I'm going to start doing from now on is not beef. What about ground beef? I'm going to start turkeying with these motherfuckers. You hear me? I'm going turkey. Different lingo. So if you a drive style. turkey. How are you going to turkey, turkey a motherfucker? I'm, I'm creating that. Whack 100, you heard it first on No Jumper. It's about to start turkeying motherfuckers. What's a turkey without some glaze? It's coming up on Thanksgiving. Glaze <laughs> the turkey. You know what oh, I'm man. saying? Oh, he made it to no, something that's else. that's the motherfucking honey yeah. bake ham. Yeah, he made it to something else. Shout out to Zim. Shout out to Zim. Shout, shout out to Zim, man. Honey bake ham. Honey baked ham. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? Shut up. Uh, you know, I sit around <laughs> and usually watch. I don't get dressed. I wear some old raggedy sweats. You don't got some family shit you got to go through? Fuck that. Even if they come, I don't give a fuck. Nah. Really? Right. I'm going to watch games and uh, eat some good food. What games do you watch? Whatever the fuck's on TV. Football. Yeah. Football game. I got a whole day of obligations on Thanksgiving. I got to go around her family. I got to go around my family. I got to go around. You know. Don't you hate that shit? Going around her family? Nah, it's cool. They got, cool they, they got good food, so. She got brothers? No. Deep fried turkey? Sister. Anything like one that? sister? One sister. You, heard yeah. you and the father-in-law get along pretty good? Yeah, yeah. That's cool. They got good Armenian food. Oh, she is Armenian. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they cook different. Yeah. Shout out to my brother Speedy. They got a whole thing Armenian. going on over there. Shout out to my boy G Face. I want to get you with G Face. She grew up out here. He was talking reckless about you. That would be a good one. Who is that? G Face. Oh, know. that's just the rat. I don't nah. know. Who is that? Is he a rat? Hold on. Nah. Your boy, Snoopy, exposed that. He ah. said the dude is claiming, he was claiming Armenian power. I don't think he was ever. Oh, and before he was claiming white fence. Oh, no, he's shit. white fence. He white fence now? Yes. So now but he I'm was from Armenian Power. Snoopy pulled up a song where he's dissing white fence. Oh, we I need don't know. To, yeah, we need to check that out. I don't know. Hold on, can I take yeah. this call? This is my guy, Sam, from the embassy. The embassy? Yeah, I got real friends. What up, Sam? <laughs> hey, you got to fill out that NDA and send it back to your guy. We got to keep the deal warm. All right, I'll do it. I'm on No Jumper. You're live. I'll do it as soon as I leave. Okay, thanks. All right. I got different kind of friends. <laughs> You're doing real business out here, huh? That's, that's uh, the kind uh, my, of business. My brother, Zachariah Ali, sent me a big contract from the Congo. From the Congo? For 30, diapers? 30 to $50 million a year. $50 million worth of diapers? A lot of babies. Well, we're going to build an actual uh, manufacturing center. What were all these babies wearing before you came around? Well, they're going to make incredible diapers, the exclusive diaper of the Congo. Hey, my kid has kind of been... Shout out to my boyfriend. My Frenchie. kid's been talking some shit about your diapers. Kid like your diapers? She calls them whack diapers. Yeah, I love her. I love her too. <laughs> oh, but she... You should make me the black uh, godfather. That'd be dope. That, why not? I've been a what, great what's godfather. Wrong? What's wrong? I don't know. What was the face for? I don't know if I want him involved in my kid's life like that. I mean, I'm a real dad. He ain't gonna dad. let nothing happen to the kid. First of all, <laughs> I'm a proven dad. Yeah. Ain't gonna let nothing happen. I'm a proven dad. Shout out to the Beavers. We <laughs> kicked UCLA's ass. Beavers. The Beavers. You didn't see what Oregon I put up State. on my Instagram? Oregon State. Me and the white dude I was teaching up. What's I was a beaver? teaching them the Drake song. I thought we were talking about my kid. All of a sudden you're talking about yeah. Beaver. Yeah. But my daughter's a cheerleader for the team. For the Beavers? Only two yeah. black legs out there. Oregon oh, State. Okay. I think it's Oregon State. Two, huh? two black girls out there. And all the rest are host. You said two young, black legs. They got two legs each, right? Young, talented, uh, beautiful young women that cheer the team on. Is one a quadriplegic? Shout out for the to the Beavers cheer. Yeah. Shout, Shout out, out to the, the Beavers cheer Beavers football. Shout, Shout out, out to Beavers. Beavers. Yeah. 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 You don't want to know what phase my kid is in right now? Princess dresses 100% of the time. She wakes up, grabs the Beauty and the Beast dress, puts it on, rocks that for about 10 minutes, takes it off, puts on the Little Mermaid dress, rocks that for another 15 minutes, boom. Cinderella, boom. Sleeping Beauty, boom. Snow White, boom. Boom. That's crazy. All day. Different dresses. All fucking day. It's kind of hard for me to imagine her not doing this anymore because she's so into it. You know what? As a dad, 
I commend the fact that you pay attention to it and you find it amazing. Oh, it's incredible. Daddy gangs all day long. She got the princess Daddy peach gang dress. Daddy gang motherfucker, man. I got five right. little dirt bags. I'm trying to take her to uh, Super Mario World in the near future as well. <laughs> Where the fuck is Super that's Mario? That's the Universal. 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 Yep. I'm taking oh, my kids next month. Is that right, Super yeah. Mario World? But I think that's a dude. I, she wants to do it during the week so it won't be as crowded. Yep. Does she know what Super Mario World is? My kid? Yeah, she fucks with Mario. She fucks with the Princess Peach. She knows gotcha. that Bowser is a bad guy. She knows that Super Wario Mario is Brothers? a bad guy. Do I grew you, up playing Mario, but do you play it so you can see it? The OG one, Super Mario. Like, I don't like have it on. I don't have like a video game bring system it to currently. You. I gotta bring it to you. I uh, I've played videos of Mario Brothers video games, yeah. and she gets just as into that as she does get into the the cartoons. You know, we haven't even touched our our question list yet. I'm waiting on you, white guy. Uh, white guy. Um, white guy. Caucasian. White guy. Mm, okay, I have a question. Did DJ Envy approach you about investing in some real estate? Um, no, he didn't. But let's clear this shit up right now. Mm. DJ Envy has no charges at this time. No, nor are they looking to charge him. Okay, that's interesting. They didn't go take no electronics from the fucking radio that station. That was fake news. That's cap. Mm. Mm. Right. Um, I know the people that worked the building. They did come up there. And they let it be known to the building that DJ MB has no charges, will not be receiving any charges. Um, as a matter of fact, he's down as a potential witness. So y'all stop running with that fake guy ass narrative shit. Oh, okay. Well, Shout out to MB for real. Yeah, because when I right. imagine and the even situation. Even if he would have approached me um, about real estate business, right? DJ MB's always been a stand-up guy. Let's be real. He ain't never known for no, no fuckery. Yeah. So, you know, if somebody came to him, and Adam, I think we all been victim of some type of scam. Mm -hmm. All at some point in our life, right? Dude might have sold you a BMX when you was out there in motherfucking New Hampshire. You didn't know he stole it from around the corner. Yeah. I got catfished by a girl who didn't exist one time. Well, that's See? what I'm telling you. Yeah, so, talked to me for a couple to months. Shout out yeah. to the Breakfast Club. Shout out to Charlamagne. 2004, guy. I talked to Shout a girl out, for a couple uh, months. She didn't exist. That's what I'm saying. It was probably just some dude. Shout out to Jess Hilarious. <laughs> Jess I am Hilarious. a fan of Jess Hilarious. You, you fuck with her. You think she should be a permanent addition to the Breakfast Club? Definitely. Definitely good work right there. What I will say, though, is that if this legal situation for the guy that DJ Envy was working with, who he brought on the show many times, if that becomes a very, very serious situation, and if DJ uh, Envy and iHeartMedia start getting sued, Perhaps by people who say that they lost money by investing with this guy. First of all, that I could imagine being a very bad situation. First for of him. all, let's talk about it. All right. Um, there were no contracts generated, there were no contract terms talked about on the Breakfast Club. Second of all, that's just like Toyota running a fucking ad. On the Breakfast Club, and then the guy being unhappy with Toyota, and he's suing the radio station saying, I only brought it because you guys promoted it. Yo, bro, they don't, they just promoting a, a product. It's on you to do your due diligence on what you're signing up with. But what if we find out that DJ Envy made a shitload of money off of this guy? DJ Envy probably did make money, and he's probably in a situation where he's lost money. Yeah. He lost he's probably a lot of money. lost what's even more valuable than the money. He's probably lost relationships because he made an honest mistake because he was in the dark of what this dude would up, was up to. Right. Yo, let, let, let's talk about character here, bro. Uh -huh. MB is not known for doing anything ever to rob, trick, or manipulate the people. He was successful before this Pena guy came along. And if you're in DJ Envy's position, you know that your reputation and your brand, you think your he's personal bring brand, the guy yeah. On fucking the Breakfast Club, knowing this dude running scams, and it's not illegal, and it's you're not going to lose your job himself. necessarily. I'm not going to jeopardize yeah. himself. Gonna do that you didn't commit a crime because you perhaps invested in a bad thing. He right? doesn't do real estate. He was introduced to it, mm. and you know he he fed into what the guy was talking about. Thought the guy was honest guy. <laughs> Me knowing Envy, he did a few deals himself, seen it worked, and then he start, you know, like, and dude probably approached Envy, hey, bro, you know, I'd love to have you on as a partner. Mm. You know, you can help me market to a larger, you know, to more people. We can get more investors. Envy ain't thinking nothing of it. Mm. But when it comes down to the paperwork and the politics, those contracts that this 
uh, Pena dude generated, yeah. that's on the investors to go over that, to go through that. Did you see people saying that DJ Envy's wife deleted all her designer handbags and clothes from her Instagram? Um, That may not have anything to do with DJ Envy. DJ Envy was already a millionaire and successful yeah. before this real estate guy. Long before that. Rich Let's not that. act like Envy just came up. Right. He's always been on, he's on top of his game. So whatever reason that is, I'm pretty sure he has his personal reason. So you would bet against him losing his spot on the Breakfast Club? He's not losing his I know that for a fact. Yeah, that does seem kind of unlikely. No, no, I know that for a fact. You know, I, I talk to the powers that be. Envy's not going anywhere. You got a heart media plus? It'll be, it'll be a loss um, for us to lose Envy on the Breakfast Club. Yeah, that would be, be a total loss to the culture of yeah. rap. To the culture of, of 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 these social platforms, we need Envy in the game. He Envy, does his keep thing. your head up, bro. Keep doing what you're doing. Stay focused. Shout out to Envy, man. Keep doing your thing. Let me ask you this. What up? Is Seti Nash a snitch? Who? Seti Nash. Oh yeah. His name came up. Yeah, that motherfucker do? over there. What did he do? Talking too much, running his dick suckers too much. Which what, one? What did he do, Beast? He over there. He um. He I guess somebody got killed in his neighborhood up in Sacramento. And they did a news clip, and he's over there telling them I what sent happened. You that content. Yeah, you sent me the content. I ran did, over did, it. Did he mention other people's names? He no, definitely, right? he, huh? He didn't even mention names. He I'm didn't mention saying. names, but he mentioned locations. He mentioned, Sacramento. Or yeah, he's from Sacramento. He was like at the scene of the crime. At the scene like, of the crime, talking he, to the talking to the motherfucker. What did he tell the police, Adam? Uh, we could play the clip if you play want. It. I want to hear. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I remember them talking about it on the hunter side, but. I didn't. I think somebody sent it to me. I just sent yeah, it straight to you. You sent guys. it to me. I checked it out. And I was like, "Oh shit!" I, said, I sent it to Dre and much. Danny and everybody yeah. else. Right, so morning show topic. There's a thirty shout out to a my thirty minute squad. live stream of him explaining, which is not that attractive. Shout out to Voice. Um, she brought the content. Pack D up today. Pack D up. Shout out to the Voice man. Uh, shout, shout out to the Voice for <laughs> stop packing. Who up? They heard an argument just before the shooting. When you heard the argument, was it a long argument? Was it just short? Did it seem know, like they it was, knew it was static? Yeah, it was static. Yeah. And his friend was like, he's not even a part of this. You know, he's not a part of this S. And then boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. No, because. So is he from here? He, he's from All he says is he saw boom, boom, boom. I mean, that. But you can't tell the police you saw nothing. But why he didn't say it to the police. He said it to the news camera. Yeah, the camera why was crew he from still the there? Yeah, you're not he's supposed, supposed to, to get out of there. He's just he's hanging the out, yeah. watching. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, blood yeah, he, he's supposed to be from Raw 60s, I think. I believe so. Nah, is he? Well, whatever he is. He's, he's some sort of crip, I do believe. Whatever he is, he ain't supposed to do that. That's at all. Said that you did too much. But would you... I don't you, know if he mentioned... Uh, would I... Okay. Would you DP him if he was a rooster? He would definitely get a DP. He wouldn't get a put off, but he would get a DP and set down. What is sat down? And we let him know what he did wrong. You're not allowed to come do cool shit for a little while? No, we just let him point out what he talk did too wrong. Much. Sometimes like you talk grounded? Much. No, just, you know, just point out what he did wrong. Okay. He don't, I, don't, I don't think, you know, it's deserving. Of, I wouldn't call him a rat if that's all he did. He just did too much talking with the news people. Interesting. Yeah, I wouldn't call him a rat. It feels like that's from back in the day when people were still hyped to be on the news. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Never on no news. They never did nothing like that. Because now nobody gives a shit. Because if you have something good to share with the world, you can just say it on Instagram. It'll probably end up on a bunch of meme accounts or whatever. But yeah. back in the day, it's like when there was a news camera crew in your neighborhood, it was like, hey, let me get on here. Like, yeah. boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, but it's a little different. I don't know why he did it. But I, I, don't, I wouldn't call him a rat. But he definitely needs to sit down, you know, slight DP, maybe a two-man. A two-man? Yeah. So Speaking fun. of DPs, how about when Blueface came on here? And I asked Jaden, he was off camera for a moment. I asked Jaden, what's the most gangster ass shit that you've ever been a part of while being with Blueface? And she talked about how, this is an amazing story, that basically they ran into, uh, or no, he, he posted a clip on his story at the time with him in the shower and people went frame by frame and screened it, uh, screenshotted it where you could see his limp dick a little bit in the, in the video frame. And he, they were posting on the story and I guess he got called to the hood by his homies, and she said that she, he, she watched Blueface fight five dudes at the same time in his hood. How many times have I told you, nephew ain't no punk, and oh, he can fight? I, I don't think he is, but... I've always told people Five that. people at he once. Always. He's just quiet. 
He's just quiet. He is he quiet? Pump. He's like the most viral man in America right no, now. No, he's quiet. He's he like quiet to me. Back. He laid back. Yeah, like, you know, we brought chill. his mother on to uh, the hunter side. She late cheeks, night. yeah, it was crazy. No, 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 we she ain't talking about We're not doing that. <laughs> I'm milk. saying we brought her I on. I talked about her with him. <laughs> we brought her on to the hunter side. She's showing the cheeks. Late night show with Dre's Lady Killer. Yeah. The rest of the squad. What's she saying? Why you bringing her on there, Sheila? Yeah. Blue Mom is an op. Shout out to Dre's. She's an op now, right? You know, Lady Killer. Who's op? Blue's mom is an op. Oh, that's his mother. But he don't fuck with her, right? Um, you know, he, he probably is a little disgruntled with her. I'm all I'm just disgruntled with her at time. I'm the one that call her and call her on her shit. Like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? You like, called her about you. the booty cheek thing? Definitely did. I'll show you on my phone. What'd you say? I told her what the fuck are you doing? Like, you know, and, and everybody we called had a her. conversation. <laughs> like, I'm like, yo, you know, your kids and shit. You know, I I'll call her. It must be weird to have a young mom. She's not, she's like 48, 50. She's just, she's, she's just, 50. he got a cute mom. She said, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I was trying to say. My kids yeah. got a cute yeah. mom. You know what I'm saying? Right. We call those milfs. Look. Yeah, we said Look. that too. <laughs> See what I'm talking about. <laughs> you, said, blue. you said to BF mama, you said, why woman? Why? God Scroll damn. Down. She said, it was an accident. Crying emoji. Thanks. That was for my husband. Please help me clean it up. Clean up her butt. Listen, okay, bro. I took a million pictures and I grabbed the wrong one, <laughs> and then you sent it to her again, and then you sent her a picture of like, what is this? Is that you flexing? Is that? No, she asked. We was Why talking you about sending her all this random shit. You no, know, we was talking about her son Dre. I, I love you. Her, Why'd you say that? She didn't say. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Yo, he always <laughs> no, trying to get messy that. with that shit. Out. <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> I, don't talk, I don't talk like that. Too. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> Yeah, and then Fuck. we brought her on. We brought her on to the show, and she cleared a lot of shit up. And Blueface didn't mind that you were clout chasing off his mom. I'm not clout chasing off his mom. His mom asked to come to the show. I'll bring actually, her on here if it's oh, not going to hurt no, my relationship with her, Blueface. I asked her. We can bring her up. I clear with nephew. He ain't tripping. I asked her to come to the show because she wanted to clear the shit up. Mm. So I can't clear it up. You can talk about it and clear it up because I don't know why you did it. I told her you got to hit Instagram four times before some shit posts. So I was like. I didn't believe her. Yeah, right? What the fuck? How could you ever Instagram, accidentally post that go photo? Go to the picture. Yeah. <laughs> then you got to go gotta, to the post accept. and hit send. Yeah, Have you ever heard of anyone? I didn't believe her, but yeah, she yeah. said it was accident. It's a lot of work. And what it's happens after you post right it? There. After it posts, it pops up on your screen. I've it's right in front of you. Her, you get to see what you just posted. I've always told her what Blueface's problem was. He wants you to be um, a mom, the mother of a celebrity. She wants to be a celebrity mom. Mm. Now she calls herself uh, Clout Lissa. Clout Lissa, yep. Yeah. She definitely not, called herself that. Not Car Lissa. Yeah. But she's yeah. doing her thing. Whatever she An does. old head with some clout is a dangerous game. Because yeah, a lot I mean, of times, you know, thing, they man. start doing walkie shit. She's doing her thing. Yeah. But as long as she's happy. Much love to all the, the moms out there. Absolutely. Yeah, she's doing her thing. But, um, you know, I've been to a lot of ups and downs, a lot of shit I don't agree with. Blueface will tell you, I always warn him about shit. He's lost a lot of money because of his big heart for his family and friends. Mm. Let me say this. Our interview that we do with him, yeah. I think it has like half a million views or like 600,000 views in a month or however long that was, three weeks. For me and you, the one we did with him? Yes. Okay. The one that I did with him and Jaden Alexis has almost as many views in like two days, which to me says... She is an actual star, and people are really Shout out to obsessed Alexis. She's with doing this. her thing. I, I ain't gonna lie. I will not her song lie. Barbie yeah. is moving. I didn't see her song fucking over Rock. Song. Fucked over the fucking. Krishan. I didn't see fucked the over. vision with Krishan Rock, <laughs> and now she's huge. I didn't see the vision with Jaden Alexis becoming a rapper. You it know seems, why? It seems you know why? like they fucking that, love her. That's blue face. People got to motherfuckers give Dr. Dre his credit. Give blue face his credit. Yeah. Two females he's touched, both of them clout going up, careers going up. Give nephew his credit. Mm. He paid attention to what I did with him, how I moved him around, and he's mimicking it with his pen, with his creative thought, and the production. Give him his credit. Do you think I should turn Lennon into a rapper? Definitely. Hell yeah. You now, should let, wait. Now that let, I've watched the Jaden Alexis experiment, I think I yo, could. You should let Jaden her do a song. That'll go viral. That's what I'm saying. Oh, Set shit. it up. Do Scum, that we need a beat. Scum beats. That's producer Tatiana. Scum, we need a beat. I would love to see Blueface write a rap for Atlanta. Yeah, do it. That's done. 
I'm gonna tell him to do it today. He agreed to perform at my birthday party. No, he he was, didn't. Yes, he did. I told you. He did it on That's the podcast. That's my business. All right, but I'm gonna shut it down. <laughs> yeah, you try to do some weird. Stop, yeah, what you trying to do? Toes, Adam. Yeah. Why? We was gonna call you they on that shit why? too. Because you don't run our program, nephew. What is wrong, nephew? What, I told what, this what, man what, what I was doing negotiating politics. That so until further notice, we ain't moving. You so gonna, what do I gonna, have to do? You're going to be spec. I talked to you about it. Command. And I told you I was going to handle it, right? I did talk to you before, and, before, I told and then I, I also it. asked him. Yeah, that's the white people. You shit. mad because he offered to do See, it for free? This is my Dame Dash. He's not going to do it for free. I told him I'll pay you. Because you offered some money. Yeah. You're going to pay nephew his money. I, so I want to make sure he shows up, so I want there to be money. I'm worried about that. But this is why Dame Dash, right? Was labeled what he was labeled. When can we get him on the podcast? Oh, yeah. you do shit, no, you that's do, gonna be the, my yeah. worst day ever. But you it'll do be amazing shit content. like that uh, behind his back instead of keeping the business where it's supposed to Explain be. Explain what you think I did. Artists, learn what not to do. Don't Keep do your management shit. in place. Don't what do, what do you shit. think I did? I would like you to explain you this so everyone can see how free. insane this yeah. is. Yeah. I did not ask him price. to do it for free. Go watch the negotiator. He offered to do it for free. I told him I'm gonna pay you. I ain't I tripping. Know. I had already had the conversation with you about it. <laughs> Red and blue make why, green. Yeah, why don't you get that whack first? Tell, tell, me, tell me what I did wrong. I already told you. That was unprofessional. You, it's, but you made gonna, no sense. Hey, listen. Try to explain it so the people at home can understand. Put some respect on my name. I asked you about booking him. We don't paint him. cars. We spray cars. I had to ask Shout you like two. four or five times Shout to get a two. fucking <laughs> response about him. And then you I already, fucking asked him on the on the podcast and he was immediately Adam, into look, it. At the end of the day, we're going to figure it out. I have another request as well. I would like to shoot a video for him during the party because we're going to have hundreds of porn stars there. We're going to do all that. Oh, shit. It would be a perfect time ah, to film a Jaden Alexis that. video. That would be great. We're going to do all that. Baby mama drama. Now. Now. My question with you is this. Uh-oh. If we, what's, what's your wife's name again? Uh, Andrea. Andrea? Yeah. No, what's her stage name? Oh, Lena. Lena. So we do a Jaden Alexis and Lena video. Mm. Yeah. Right? BBL is everywhere. Can we have the black, the dude, the, the black dude in the video as a cameo? He's kind of in the past, but as a cameo, a perhaps. cameo, perhaps. you gotta have that. It's a cameo. cameo. Nothing with you, with your wife. It's a cameo. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Like some simple shit. You want to get him in the video as yeah. a cameo? I can appreciate that. But not listen. I respect your wife. It's viral. Who wants? She's a great um, person, great mother. But as a cameo, we're talking business now. We we're just, talking business. There we go. For sure. Yeah, I respect your wife. And when y'all yeah. break up, I'm gonna do an interview with her. You mean yeah. divorce? No, y'all break up. She ain't gonna divorce you. But we'll break up. Y'all might break up. But we're yeah. gonna stay married. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she loves it. You gonna let her do that again? <laughs> she, you know what's some bullshit that she told me? What? She said that if we did break up, she would still make me impregnate her again because she doesn't want to have two kids from two different oh, dads. Shit. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? <laughs> If if all we you break gotta up, do, all you gotta I'm do, saving all my baby making for some other you know, bitches. All you oh, gotta shit. do, brother, is she her eggs. She can store them. She can store your sperm. She can do it without you. I'm not making a test tube, baby. No, what do you me? mean? It's not. It's I don't. Want, I, want, I like doing it all natural. I'm just saying. Bro. Shoot the club. She up. may not want you to touch her. Waddle around with it for nine months. <laughs> you know, she might go black. <sighs> and once she do that, ain't no coming back. A lot of times when I fuck her, I feel like she doesn't want. She to almost never came back to you. You almost lost her forever. <laughs> that's that's what being married is all about. You almost lost her forever hey, on that one. <laughs> hey, yo, man, the other day, right? I was um, going through my neighborhood. Neighborhood? In my neighborhood, right? Nah, my neighborhood. Oh, okay. Where I grew up at. Got it. Right? And um, hmm. it was crazy, right? Because, you know, you make decisions in your life. And um, I saw one of my homeboys, right? His name is B Crazy. Real name, Eric Griffin. This dude... Had some shoes on with no shoestrings, right? Drooling, right? Snotty nose, crack pipe in the top pocket. Uh -huh. And this is a dude that said, follow me. I'm the way to go. And when I seen this dude, I knew that I made the right decision. Damn, so he fucked up off drugs? Then he ducked off into a bush. That's the last I saw. Oh, he vanished shit. into a bush like he Homer went Simpson? into a bush, and I don't it's know what the different. fuck he did. That's different. So this is somebody that you had a real relationship with back in the day, yeah. and, and now he's- be crazy, Eric Griffin. He's yeah. fucked up. Dusty. Rest in peace, Big Griff, but this dude right here, he, he running around, smoked out, no shoestrings in his shoes. A lot of these motherfuckers shoes, like that nowadays. Motherfucking cracked out. 
how you felt in that moment is how I feel a lot of times when I look at the host that left no jumper. But that's okay. Um, people go through things in life. You talking about Lush? <laughs> you talking about Lush? I'm, uh, anybody can get it. You talking about Lush? Yeah, he's he talking about Lush, right? EBK. The crackhead EBK Lush. EBK 22. He must you like that? The 22 what do you do? What do you do? What is Lush? I'll fuck him up if you want me to. I'll, fuck, so I'll beat him up just to do it. Listen, we may joke about Lush, but I have heard it that he is a Clemson Street General. That's what he claims. Clemson. What the fuck what is Clemson? That? I don't know, but that's what he claims. You heard of that? And you know, <laughs> I, 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 I searched Clemson Street on Google Maps and nothing and came down. out. Is that California? I don't know what Clemson Street is. I've never heard of no Clemson Street. I, I, honestly, I've just seen so many people say it in the Reddit that yeah. I thought that it had to be a real thing. But no, I searched uh, it up. I can't find anything. Clemson, South Carolina. Clemson University. Clemson Distribution. Uh, none of these are really like nearby or anything. Where is it? it Baldwin so Hills. It's it by the Jays. Baldwin Hills by the jungles. The fuck? Is it a Mexican gang? Oh, yeah, look, Clemson Street. Ain't no oh, no. Fuck. It's right by Obama Boulevard. No, that's where Obama Boulevard is. A little bit. So it's like yeah. right near Culver City. I never heard that shit. I never heard of him. I don't give a fuck. I, he's, oh, rodeo. It, I don't know. Just because he's from somewhere don't make him something. I don't give a fuck who he is. Yo, you know what? I did an interview with Nick Cannon, two of them. I don't know if they came out yet. And um, it's this dude named Gangster Earn from 59 Brim. Shout out to Big Sav. Edward Sav was from 59th Street. Mm -hmm. That was my celly. But it's this dude named Gangster Earn, right? Okay. And um, in like 80s, early 90s, mm -hmm. uh, he used to dress up like an undercover cop, get behind cats, pull them over with the cybers and shit, get out, leave them handcuffed, but leave with the work and the money. Uh, so his son, um, baby gangster Iron, called me, and he wants to. Um, you, I'm pretty sure I don't know if you know him. You heard the stories of Gangsta Iron from Five Nine, bro? Yeah, he used to pull on motherfuckers the over. Yeah, from Dago. So um, his son called me, and he like, yo, my pops got a story. Nick Cannon's from San Diego area. Nick's with it, so we might do a series. I'm gonna um, <clears throat> see if I can put it together. Dago needs it. Shout out to Mitchy Slick, but Dago needs it. Do you feel like San Diego is soft? No. Okay. Um, San I know that was a topic of San conversation Diego on here a little while of, back. No, San Diego is one of the most underrated cities. First of all, it's Damu heavy. Okay. First of all. Second of all, I feel like San Diego, because the gangs are kind of, the area where they at, when you look at the overall San Diego County, right, unlike L.A. County, gangs is in, Every city, but you get up in like El Cajon or, or shit like that, right? Or Escondido and Oceanside. Well, Oceanside is some Crips over there, um, but you, you don't have a lot of uh, gang presence. But San Diego, Lincoln Parks, Skylines, Little Africa, um, Five Nine Brims, uh, the Coast, as they call it. Yeah, um, it's a lot of gangs. The San Diego national cats city, I did time with national city. Um, have always been respectable homies on the yard. Yeah, I will tell you, that you know what I'm saying? Um, but, again, like their radio station shut down urban music for like five, ten years. Mm. But if you go to gangland, you'll see really what Dago was about. They was known for shooting cops. Really? That's a fact. Hell yeah, you go to gangland. Cartel City. Yeah, too, yeah, for real. Mitchie Slick, yeah. one of our legends. Very respectable Shout homie. Shout out Mitchie Slick. Right. Shout out um, Mitchie. Nick Cannon comes from down that way. And what I love about Nick is all of them know him. And they was one of the dudes that they didn't really allow him to part of that shit. So they still stand with Nick today. today, today. But they didn't let Nick, they didn't try to drag him into it. No, not okay. at all. That's what I love about it. Uh, Big Reese. Big Reese was Exhibits. Remember the big black dudes to be on stage with Exhibit? Big Reese. He from Lincoln Park. A um, lot of dudes I know, Skyline, you know, a lot of Little Africa, Emerald Hills, a lot of dudes I know down there. So they go. I, I knew uh, Mitchie Slick. I met him way back in the day. Yeah, good dude. Was with a ton of other bloods. Within like five minutes, they were beating the shit out of a rapper friend of mine. Pretty sure he did so. Yeah. They jumped him on stage. Because Mitchie's a voice of reason. So uh, nah, not Dago, not in that ain't moment. nothing soft about that. <laughs> in that moment, I wouldn't say it was the voice of reason. No, nah, I mean I he, must he, was, did he was with all the bullshit at that moment. Must have did something. <laughs> no, nah, I don't know who the fuck said Dago was soft. Uh, well, remember there was that argument on, like, and that's why Mitchie Slick came on the podcast like a year or two who ago said that? to refute that. We fuck with Dago. Who said that? I'm not yeah. sure exactly who said they it never, to start I ain't never heard off. of Dago being Never so. heard that shit. We got yeah. But Okay, what are your metrics by which you judge if a city is soft or not? Is it like the murder rate? I've been locked up with cash from San Diego. Uh-huh. They didn't participate in the riots. 
They didn't participate in all the activity. Um, they 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 police they own. They do what they supposed they to do. They got their own car. Yeah. My celly, Big Crunch from five nine two years. Pleasant Valley State was my celly, mm -hmm. right? Um, I I ain't never seen them turn down nothing. Um, on the street, they get their money. They honorable. Every time I pull up on Ocean View Park, you know what I mean. Um, you know it's love. You know, uh, rest in peace, Charlie Bo. I didn't did it with a lot of them. Nick Mo Bain, seven up from Nick. I did it with a lot of Dago cats. And then like anybody else, you get your roll ups and your cats to do the bullshit, but they handle their business. I just did an interview with this guy, yeah. Wes Watson, who's a white guy from Dago. And you know what I'm <laughs> talking about? I definitely know who you're talking about. You like what, him? What he, uh, he's what just a he? weird. I heard he ratted in some shit too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He a South Side? Uh, no, no, no. He's a white boy. Oh, yeah, Wood? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, he's a Peckerwood. Uh, I don't know about the rat thing. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. What, what, what happened with him? I never heard that. Yeah, I don't, yeah. He I did my research, it. I never heard that, but. No? They got on his ass because he said that he was uh, hooping his paperwork for, like, a long period of time. Oh, that's a fact. He would keep his paperwork on him. He had to. Sometimes. But he hooped it. What, just so that you could immediately show up on the Absolutely. yard and be just like, make sure you're this is why I'm here, so that's that there wouldn't be this yeah, that's crazy. weird yeah. period where they had thought that it. you might have been on some such shit. Had to do it, had to do it. If you're going to the hole, you're going to the back, you're going to the shoe, you want to have your paperwork with you just so you can get there and show that bitch to him. Like, boom, here you go. It's not like just thrown up in there. You got that shit cellophane up, wrapped up. That shit, boop, throw that bitch up in there. You ever had to do that? Yeah, I had to hoop knives, too. Uh, shit. You what? know what? I'm going to be real. I'm going to be yeah. real. Yeah, Damn. knives is one thing. That's just real out here. Yeah. But I'm going to be real. Um, because of my cases, you know, <laughs> homies from my <laughs> neighborhood shit. know I used to send homies home on my cases. And I take it and, and deal with it. Send them home how? To them home. Yeah, I yeah. take the, I ride the beef. Right? right? I take the beef. I send them home. Like, from the substation. And I just <laughs> fight it myself. But I've never been asked for my paperwork because I, I've never been in a situation where people question my paperwork uh -huh. in prison. Like, I never had crimes. It was always me on the case. You know I send homies home. I, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, I I, 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 I ride the <laughs> shit. So I've never been asked. But if a person was to ask me for my paperwork, right, I'm going to, I'm not going to be offended by it. I'm going to provide it. That's what you're supposed to do. Right. Only people that get offended by it, somebody got something to hide. The crazy thing about it is for me as a, a civilian, prison is like the toughest, most gangster, most dangerous, ruthless shit that you could ever be involved in. But part nah. of it is that you have to put stuff in your asshole. Depending on where you're at. Right. But I'm yeah. saying, like, in general, it's a lot more gangster than Depending me going at. to Starbucks. To yeah, you can only say that about a few prisons. What the fuck Starbucks got to do with prison? I'm just saying, like, I, my <laughs> life is very, very pussy in comparison to what these you know, prisoners are going through. Like, but... Oh. I yeah, also don't have to movie? put anything in my ass yeah, today. Do, what yeah. Tim, do? My ass step, is clean. I haven't had anything in it, it in you weeks. You do it. You do it. You what's, what's that one movie? I know you saw it. With a white yeah. boy oh. attorney. Yeah, that's... Uh, he get into an accident. They give him a manslaughter. Oh, uh, uh, he go to the yard. Shot callers. Shot callers. You never callers. seen shot callers? Oh, I think I've yeah. seen that. You got to go watch Turn shot callers. Turn AB on the yard. 07. <laughs> he at the yard. He a white dude. Yeah. They tell, we talking about clean face dude. He got a manslaughter for being drunk. Yeah. He hit the motherfucking yard. The ABs get at him. They like, yo, you got to do this. He participated in his first sticking. Before yeah. you know it, he didn't would full fledged. Full fledged. Shoe to a point. He hit the shot call of the, of the whole had, had, shit. Whacked him at Gets the end. Gets out on the street. Like, bro, it's crazy. That's what but would happen if I got locked up. All of you guys square square out there driving drunk, doing silly mm -hmm. shit, go watch Shot Caller because that's real. I've seen that happen. Mm. His whole life was thrown away. That's a fact. So you seen a white boy just come in and all of a sudden he's in charge of you? I seen white dude. No, I seen no. I, I seen <laughs> nah, white <that> dudes. <laughs> I seen nah. regular people come hey, he, in. He tried to throw Dave quick. I Not like that. <laughs> no, that never happened with okay. us. We okay. paw roof. And we the black car, right? This podcast brought to you by Whoops. Those is the community series. You know what? Yo, Whoop. I think you're Sorry. trying to antagonize. Would you do a would you do a promotion you for the me to sock your ass out? Would you do oh. a promotion for the Whoops? I respect the fact that somebody from Chicago. Took a terminology and created some. I respect your hustle. Whoop. You can't knock the hustle. Yeah. But I'm surprised they didn't sue him because the shit looks like uh, Fruit Loops. Yeah, that, it's too much it's like, fruit loops. like Fruit Loops. Well, spoiler. They are Fruit Loops. I mean. You could get the cheap bag, too. They're called Fruitios. So you think that's to like the low? <laughs> Let me ask you this. Yeah. I'm doing an interview with Mama Duck, FBG Duck's mother. And, and she knows me well. And we she out. tells me a story. That, yeah, that, that's interesting. Well. That's intriguing. We, She's having a conversation about back in the day she caught FYBJ Maine fucking a bitch in her closet 
or her room or something. Okay. And I asked her when she caught him, was she at all aroused or turned on she by probably seeing told you yet. his naked body? She was kind of offended. She got offended? And then he was making it out like I was doing something fucked up because I asked, you know, the dead homie's mom what oh, she thought man, of seeing him doing that. naked. Oh, I just know Mama Duck is, is not, no filter. I love no her. filter. She pop on that You know who she shit. fucked over? Who? Hassan Campbell. That's his early fucked year. Him over. I came on Clubhouse trying to attack her and she fucked him up. How so? What'd she say? Just talking crazy. Talked bro. All she kind of shit. Bro, she She's can gangsta. talk crazy. Called him yeah. thigh sign and everything. She can talk crazy. She's a piece of work. I got a lot of love yeah, for she, her. She talks very, yeah. very crazy. How about 6 9 Got arrested in the DR. Oh, he didn't do that shit. That wasn't him. Wait, yeah. the beating up of that the... That wasn't him. They lying on him. Why are they hating? They lying. Why are they always... You standing up for 6 9 No, no I'm, I'm just saying, saying why they hating. <laughs> <laughs> they lying. They wasn't him. I'm just, you no, see, they tried to accuse him of beating... You see how he tried to do that shit real quickly? They tried to accuse him of beating up his girlfriend? Too, uh, he gets you up in a trick. That's what they call right? a trick No, I'm just saying, like... He did shit. I always hear... He ain't did nothing. The 6 9 thing may not be the topic of conversation he out here on the nothing. streets, but in prison, he is still enemy number one. No, he's not. No? That's why I hear They all call him and tell him they wish <clears throat> they would have made better decisions. They forgive him because they work. The Bloods? All them dudes. I've seen them on his text. Somehow I doubt it. But. <laughs> you want to bet? If I provide you text messages. You so, show me Shoddy saying that. They, so I'll show you oh, his son. Oh, his son. I'll show Definitely. you his son. Shoddy saying, I'm sorry, 6 9 You did everything saying, correct. Son, it's okay. His son is saying, hey... We want to do some business. We need some money. Try All to back door him. You want to bet? I don't know, but. Let's bet. I don't want to bet, bet on something that's bet. so hard to prove. Yeah, okay. No, it ain't. No. We I'm never bet on anything. Shots. <laughs> so we're betting on the idea that his said, son had a conversation in which he said that he wanted. Like, that just seems like a weird thing to bet on. The day it came was the day I did Academic 6 9 in Miami. That's I saw it pop up. up. That was no years lie. ago. It's, it's don't matter. About to. Don't that, fucking that like, matter. Like, like, you ain't supposed to reach out like that if it's like that. Right. They told on him. How you think 6 9 was looking at 47 years? Why is he locked up, though, in the DR? He's not that? locked up. They let him out. Well, they, oh, okay. So he's out. He's now. innocent. Didn't do nothing. It wasn't him. Okay. It wasn't Daniel. Leave Daniel alone. I'll put that on Daniel. Shout out Daniel Nannis. It is kind of crazy that he could get arrested in the DR and there's like barely anyone talking about it. Yo, do you want the Haitian Jack content? Let's do it. You want it? Well, what, what, what content? I was talking I about him. Interview. Who what did that him? interview? Um, him and uh, Ed what's wrong? Ed Lover. Ed Lover. But it's not out. He asked me to place it somewhere. Place it. So he's trying to sell it to someone. Yeah, they did it in the DR. Send me a link. I want to check it out. All right, it's an hour sixty minutes. An hour sixty minutes. It's sixty or minutes. An hour and sixty minutes. Oh, it's an That's hour. Two hours. Sixty minutes. Oh, okay. Well, I know how many minutes are in an hour. I mean, I don't know. You're a white guy. Yeah. Doesn't try to add a couple. Being decent there it now. Go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I've never heard anybody be like, "You're white, you can't do math." <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> you're you're white, you can't come. Roles are reverse, baby. <laughs> Don't baby me. Yo, you seen that <laughs> you incredible diapers? Yo, coming shout to out a incredible. bodega near you. I was in the DR met with the Bodega Association. All the owners are the bodegas and the products. Very different. Very powerful. What's the sex pill scene looking like out there? I don't know. I was out there on a diaper. But a they be diaper. selling hella sex pills. So can we get in with I the would, now that you have a oh, bodega yeah. connect like this? Well, the bodegas are in New York. Well, I yeah. don't know nothing about sex. Why is the bodega there. association in the DR for New York? Because the Dominicans are the ones that they're the plug run their bodegas. When I'm going to a, a bodega in New York, though, a lot of the times it's an Indian guy or a Middle Eastern guy. But there's a bodega association, right, to where all the products that go in there. Right, they go through there. They make sure it is what it is. It's price right, and that's how you get in. What about the rhinos? I don't know nothing about that. What the fuck? Those are sold at AM PM. Sex pill. <laughs> what you, you, fuck you fuck with that? Hey, you know what's crazy? Hey, you know you took crazy? one before. And well, I you take one. You know what I don't like? <laughs> what? That a white man? What about a mango? RX? He's trying to drown out, right? <laughs> a black man talking about the growth <laughs> of his company. I just you know once it starts to feel a little too infomercially. That's when I start cracking jokes. You didn't and talk trolling. about this shit ten, ten Yeah, times. let's talk about that. This podcast yeah, yeah. brought to you by the Whoops. Well, we can't mention incredible diapers. What the fuck that about? I talk about yeah, incredible yeah. diapers nonstop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My kid calls them whack diapers. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Shout out to whack diapers. Whack diapers. Incredible diapers. She doesn't know how funny it sounds near like. you because it sounds like she's dissing the diapers. Piggly Wiggly's in the south. We come in there. Piggly she calls Wiggly. them whack diapers. It sounds like she's dissing the diapers. No, she's not because she knows I'm Uncle Whack. Yeah, she actually she says whack is a bad guy. 
Did she? Uh, yeah. You taught your daughter that? I don't know where just she got like that idea. Caucasian. Yeah, why would you teach her Just like, like a Caucasian. In terms of her development right now, she's doing a lot of like, he's a, Yo, good, he's a good guy, he's a bad Adam. guy, Mario's a good guy, and Bowser Adam. is a bad guy, and Wack is a bad guy. <laughs> Adam, listen. Yeah. I need you to do me a favor. I need you to look at the camera and say, go Beaver Cheer. Go Beaver Cheer. I could have been the, the one guy on the cheer team. There we go. <laughs> that was dope. That was dope. Shout out to Devin Jones. Hey, Beavers, we yeah. riding with you. No yeah. jumper. No jumper got your back. That was a dope man. We bro. riding with the beaver. There we go. Yeah. Third down. Chainsaw. <laughs> I got the beaver on me. Beaver gang. Beaver gang. 55th Street. Yeah. Beavers ain't gang. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit! Hey yo, for some real <laughs> shit though. Uh, Crit back is a funny dude. The best. I can't front. I ain't gonna be no hater. A great American. Hey, you know what? We 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 had a great start. Known to eat his whoops. That's cool. Um, I gotta get you and him on the same show. I would talk to Crit back. Mm -hmm. We'll get extra security that day. For what? Yeah. I to hold you dope. guys apart. Not worried about yeah. all that. But just in I case, would, I would talk to Crit back because I don't. I believe Crit back be influenced. By people around him that's trying to fuck off his movement. And I think he knows that. Yeah. On some real shit. I think he didn't sit back but be like, you know what? Some of these dudes was hating because dude was trying to help me and thought maybe it was going to drown them out. You know it what I'm seems saying? like China Mac has his but, best interest. Well, no, in I don't you think? China, I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't he should have stayed with Rick Rock. Now, did Crip Mac get it right yeah. with Rick Rock? Uh, not that I know of, but. Well, he got to get it right with Rick Rock. Okay. From Nutty Block. Tell him to put that call in. Rick Rock tell me it's green. We can do the interview. We got to get it right Rick Rock. No, actually, yeah, he hates Rick Rock. Last time I was with Rick Rock, he was hitting me up saying, fuck Rick Rock, right? Yeah. Oh, I forgot shit. about that. Yeah. Huh? He got some others. Yeah. You got to get it right with Rick Rock. Yeah. Well, I think Rick Rock knows that Crit Mac is not a fan of him, or at least was not. I'm not a fan of Crit Mac. If I'm willing to sit down with him, he should yeah. give Rick Rock a guy that was really mentoring him, had his, had his um, you know, best interest at hand to call and clear it up. I'm going to ask Kurt Mack right now if he'll sit down with Wack on the podcast. Ask him. Maybe we'll have an answer by the end of this. I mean, I ain't tripping. Right. You know. Can I get you and Wack on the podcast together? Let's see what he says. I can make it happen. I'm the man. Just kidding. I didn't write the last part. Um, but I am going to take it off and do not disturb, so I'll get a little... If I get a response, uh -huh. you know me and Rick, me and uh, Crip Mac had a little fist fight the other day. Y'all did. Yeah. How'd it turn out? It was, well, not great for me, but we were filming a reality show. You let him whoop you? Well, I did have my security with me, so it didn't get to go too far. To keep him away from you. Jab, jab, duck out yeah. of there, and get in there. When Crip Mac grabbed hold of me in that moment, I realized that he would beat the fuck out of me. No, well, when he grabs you, didn't get off. Once he it, grabbed you, I, I, didn't didn't really, grab. I didn't really have, like... You don't have it in you to I get out? I would have thought, like listen, the one thing I would have thought he would have did with his weirdo ass... I wouldn't ass, have been able to do anything. The one thing I thought he would have did with his weirdo ass yeah. is grabbed his nuts. That's what I'm saying. Grab, like, that is what you think? What do you think? He grabbed you and you just froze up or what? I already seen him fuck his bitch. I don't need to grab hold. I already oh, seen man, what he's working crazy. with. I ain't going to about that. Well, I seen the sex tape. You want to see it? No, no it's, it's on you, man. You keep that It's online. It was very blurry, the one I saw. Yo, what you think about KVD? Um... Great American. No, I'm just kidding. I don't fucking... What, what do I care? Huh? What do I care? I don't know. <laughs> no, okay. He's a gangster doing some gangster shit, I guess. TVD's 60 years old. Yeah. He looked bad, too, inside there. He looked like he dying already. I mean, you know, that yeah. first two weeks in the county. Yeah, that should be rough. Like he be looking real old. bad in the county. He got cancer. <laughs> yeah. You know, I talked to Lil KVD, his son. I don't think they got enough to get him. You don't? All those nah. confessions on all the pods and you can't prove you can't prove. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they paid him. Your cop ass friend Vlad yeah. was working and orchestrating shit with the law. He already Asked wrote a book before questions. that. He wrote a book before that that was way more in depth than the Vlad. Vlad, Vlad, why are you sticking up for Vlad? That's the homie. That's the homie. Oh, Vlad scared <laughs> straight of me. Yeah, I love Vlad. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, yoked up Vlad. But Vlad knows not to have you, no smoke with whack. He don't want scared. no problem with whack. Clip? That clip of him. You uh, know what? No, I seen, but you know Vlad. Tell the motherfucking truth. Vlad calls me. When? Yo, Wack, I hear you. You know, y'all got a video I was doing. I hit it first. 
Oh, I said, yeah, bring I him it. back. This this no, no, is the greatest on. hits. This is the greatest no, hit. This is one of your greatest he just, hits. He just he you know he said it, but he didn't want to say all the t- shit right. Mm-hmm. And uh, he calls me. Can he come? I said, Vlad, look, I got a, a look alike. It's kind of my little, you know, my thing. This story is like fifteen Philosophy. years old, for the record. Yeah, but he still he spoke on it, it though. He spoke on it, Vlad did. Right, recently. right. He comes up there, him and the security. Right. I don't monitor the dude. At midnight, I look up this motherfucker out of all things. He could have put up a, I told him don't put nothing up for one. He could have put up a clip of Ray J doing a scene. He puts up the fucking Kim Kardashian lookalike. Right. Kills the whole momentum. Yeah, he know what he did. At the end of the day, Blast, stop acting like I did something. Yeah, I called your motherfucking ass and got at you. We supposed to. Right? That's why you probably won't do it to another man. But at the end of the day, stop acting like I did something wrong. I showed you respect. You repaid me with disrespect. That's facts. It's real shit. Stop acting like it was bigger than that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's all it was. Where's Ray J right now? What's he up to? Oh, uh, he got a, we got a content house over there. We're filming. Uh, he has a transgender reality show. Okay. Twelve transgenders in the house. Because oh, oh, right, you gonna go by there? Yeah, oh, that shit different. I would like to go by there. <laughs> you want to go by there? It's in the valley, not too far. Like right out after this? Oh, no, you... whenever. They film it. Probably. Tomorrow. Oh, I would love to go. I gotta pull up over there. That tomorrow. sounds like a dream come true. All right, I'll see you in the address. Oh, Me and a bunch of naughty trans nerds over there. Naughty nerds. Naughty over there. You can meet naughty. Remember naughty doing you naughty with naughty. No, you can't. You do the naughty bop. What? You can't. Um. No, but. I think I, I got the crib Mac thing. We can make it happen. What do you say? I'm bringing great minds together. What do you say? I what's up with Cub? What do you say? Let so, me read. Yeah. Let me read. That's all he said was yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Let me read it. Can I read his writing? <laughs> yeah. Let me read this. He shit. got something else Let over there. He's looking at something else right now. <laughs> all right. Win. Let's do it. 55th stream. <laughs> <laughs> Read it. <laughs> Yo, that was classic. That was classic. Yo, Yo that's going to be big for the culture. I love this shit, man. That's going to be big no, for the culture. Listen, this is the real shit. The streets won't forget about that. The only reason why I'm doing this because out the gate, I was a Crip Mac fan. Whoop. Right. Keep going. Yep. I told him that. He'll tell you that. I think all the rest of the bullshit that came came because people was like brainwashing him and influenced and watching dude, you know, He's not no dummy. He's smart with the things that he he wants to be smart in, but he's just easily influenced. And I think as a man, he admit that he was told certain shit and uh, misled about things. So, you know, I really didn't have no problem, problem with him. Yeah. We're going to patch it up. First time he disrespected me, he was in the county jail on a collect call where the little crackhead dude lied to him. And said what? Whack out here exposing you when I was trying to bail him out. Trying to help him bail him out. Crips called me to help bail him out. Put him in a trick bag. Put 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 Crip Mac in a trick bag. Trick Mac or Crip Mac. She was crazy. I'm, out in, on him. I'm in Miami. <laughs> they called me. I, <laughs> I got the jail. name. Put him in a Crip bag. <laughs> yeah, they called me. I called my bail bomb. Al, I the bail bomb. And Al, Al like whack you on double bail. I said whatever you got to use about portfolio, go get him. We're gonna make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Let me ask you this. What up? How you feel about Blueface saying he got top for Mega Stallion? Is this news to you as well? No, it's not news to me. That happened like maybe, shit, that was like right around the Toy Lane shit. Was what? that tough for you to not say that on Clubhouse? He got more than top. Yeah. What else he do? He was, you know. He was just talking about top. Yeah, well, you know, he ain't lying. But you think he got the WAP too? Listen, he's not lying. You think he got the WAP? I'm just telling you, that ain't nothing new. My artists, the three artists I manage. You know what, I should have asked him? I should have asked him where he came Listen, the three artists I manage got more bodies in this industry than anybody. Ray J, Blueface, and Game. Oh, yeah. That, that, yeah, that, you <laughs> just, <laughs> them, the, God damn. Yo, I, I, <laughs> the Migos know they did a song when we was in London, and we never released it, but he was like giving a roll call, and it was it was crazy, but um, he ain't lying. I got an important question I got to ask him here. Who that? What you calling, man? Call him Blueface. Yeah, that would be kind of embarrassing. Try to ask him. No, it won't. <laughs> what if you call him right after and he picks up? <laughs> I wouldn't do you like that. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even do that. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I don't know. Is this? Th- yeah, this is it. Oh, shit. Well, thought I was cool. Thought I was cool. What, um, but how do you feel about him kind of using that for a. Uh, Using what? 
the Meg thing. Like he just you asked said, him a question. He just told you the truth. No, he yeah. brought it up to me. He ain't used nothing enough. You ain't no cloud chaser. Jaden seemed a little not stoked. Yeah, on that's it. because he did that while he was with Jaden. Right. Yeah. And they blueface ain't with nobody but who he want to be with. Do you think you should you, you should have a talk with him about the cheating thing? No, I'm not here, man. You could, you could at maybe the end of the day, respectfully, Jaden know why Blueface on what he on. What if Jaden has like a Cardi you know what I'm B? Saying? Arc? But Jaden got to respect is that he's putting the time into her to give her a, her own personal. What opinion. if Jaden blows up so big that she's like bigger than Blueface, and then Blueface has to stop cheating to keep her happy? Yeah, that's not his character. <laughs> and if you notice, Blueface, Blueface ain't trying to mind. He's trying to make her big. He's trying to make her big. You find another artist that didn't did this with they with they women, but it could backfire. Backfire how? What if she gets so Jane's big that he can't control can't, the situation? Jaden's situation can't backfire because that's the mother of two of his children. Mm. So that's that's like insurance on them being straight, the way he sees it. Right. Yeah, I can see that. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay. Yo, let's check the results of the blood test. What up, though? He said that other kid ain't his. We waiting on the blood test. Hey. Oh, you are waiting on it right she, now. No, no. She refusing it. Shouldn't you be able to, like, measure the hernia and not, you can tell if it's the kid or you She's or refusing it. I don't fucking make jokes about babies and their medical conditions. Why'd you send me you that hernia, savage, though? Yeah, you, you yeah, savage, you're different. You, you sent me a hernia. This guy, I got a baby hernia on my phone because this guy sent it to me. I mean, oh, you. I never sent you that. Yeah, you did. Your fucking guy sent that to both I remember of us. where I was when I saw it because I was so appalled. You no know, jumper guy sent you. What's the guy named? Remo. Remo. Remo's the, the hernia spreader? I guess it's the no, specialist. It is what it is. But I mean, like I said, you know, I think every child deserves to know who their father is. And I think the fans should, like, urge Rock into allowing a blood test to happen between both individuals. Fuck blue face. Fuck her. Fuck the other dude. The child deserves to know who his father is. Right. But it's real shit. you're saying that that has already happened? No, it hasn't happened. She won't give it to him. Oh. Uh, so she's trying to coerce him into paying... No, she can't do that either because she didn't put his name on the birth certificate. Ooh. Using the baby for clout. Yeah, she you knows. So, like, at the end of the day, it's on, and all you ladies know, it's only one reason why you would run from doing that because you know it's a possibility. That's that ain't that his that baby. Ain't right. That's why I mm. wouldn't claim his shit. I haven't claimed a couple day, babies. Know, let's do what's right for the baby. Right. You know, what, um, real shit. how do you feel about all this uh, explosive Jada Pinkett, Will Smith stuff? You a fan of her? Uh, I think they're, uh, yeah, definitely a fan of Jada. I'm definitely a fan of Will. Um, I think all this bullshit about a comparison of Will Smith and Tupac is absurd. That's Tupac crazy. ain't 10% of what Will Smith is, uh, even when it comes to music. Wait a minute, what? Summer, yeah, yeah, summer, Will, Will Smith, summer time. Will Smith, Will Smith Come on, was, man. Will Smith was mainstream, Come on. winning big awards way before Pac. And at the end of the day, um, shit. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air alone trumps anything Pac didn't did on television. And if it did, we can go to various films. Tupac is not a fucking Will Smith. So y'all stop trying to down that man. That's just real shit, bro. Tupac's close. not a fucking Will Smith. Tupac's respected more as an artist. No, he's respected in the fucking streets. Who gives a fuck about that? Will Smith, it was an a uncensored artist. All his music, what? no, he had no profanity. No, he was a censored artist. Censor, yeah. No profanity. He wasn't an uncensored No artist. profanity. Right? Almost His none, shows, yeah. right? Fresh Prince of Bel Air was watched by the gangsters, the squares, everybody. We all watch that shit. Right. right? And let's not go into movies. Like, that's, we don't want to do that. Stop comparing the two. <laughs> Let Pac rest, but Pac cannot replace Will's face on. Mount Wilmore. But Will Smith is known for his acting more than the music. The music no, at a certain bullshit. point faded Will into the background. Will Smith is known for acting in music at the same damn time. Right. But, you know, in general, people don't really think about his music I don't much get, No, No, listen, this is a fact. He had some big I, records. I, I believe he... Big Willie Styles. I think he might have been the first rapper to receive one of these awards. He got a Grammy first. A Grammy or some shit. He got something first. I believe Will Smith was the first. Right now, we're going to put some respect on Will's name. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right? And even to this date, at his age, he can start a movement. What's this little dance? The Shiggy or whatever the fuck that yeah. is. He was in this real shit. Will he did the Shiggy? On, Will went on that fucking yeah. bridge, right, and did that dance and it went crazy. Will Smith, the first artist to win a Grammy. First rapper to win a Grammy. Mm-hmm. 
Like, let's put some respect on his name. How about this, though? I ain't taking nothing away from Pac, but Pac is not a Will Smith. But in the Will Smith versus Pac conversation, everybody's There's kind of, no Will Smith versus Pac. They make it out That's like Pac. That's not even a conversation. They make Will it out Smith like Pac was, shit, like, the ultimate gangster. As somebody Pac who's really from this gangster. world. Yeah, what, how, rate his gangsterism. He was not a gang. What did he do gangster? He was more of a revolutionary. He shot a cop. He didn't shoot a cop. He, he was a with. fucking liar. Beat up a guy in Let Vegas. Let me tell you what shooting a cop is. And then got killed. Shooting a cop is knowing that's a cop in a police car or all, or undercover you know, and you walking up and shooting that cop. If I'm going down the street and two white dudes harassing a black dude and I shoot the white guy and later find out he's an off-duty cop is not the same as shooting a cop. It's two different psyches. Mm-hmm. Y'all be saying some bullshit, and when Wax say the real shit, y'all get mad. But that's a fact. They were not uh, right. in uniform. He did not know they were police. Right. They had a dude in, like, Brooklyn a couple years ago. We followed the story. Yep. Walked up on the cop in the car, Bang. gunned him down. Gunned his ass right? down real that's quick. That's the guy that shot a cop. Right. Not, okay, it's a, two white dudes fucking with a black dude. <laughs> fired, one get hit. Then he finds out. That one's off duty cop. I'm not giving him that. You're not going to give it to him. No, he's not getting that for yeah. me. Because remember, I will give him, right, the fact that he stopped to help that black man regardless. But all that, he shot a cop. That's cap. You remember Greedo went super viral for basically saying, fuck Tupac. I got a metal leg. Man, I've been viral about two couple years ago. ago. <laughs> but at the end of the day, Greedo don't give a fuck like how old he is. He didn't come, he didn't, we wasn't raised on Pac. And that was kind of hard Yachty, for Lil Yachty, Yachty made a is, statement or, about Biggie and Pac. Greedo's kind of older as well, but like or Biggie, but yeah. Greedo, Biggie got his flaws too. Greedo's like Biggie got really flaws. from think, bro, Biggie got Greedo's flaws. really from a gang I in LA, so to, he looks at Tupac differently, right? From a gang and watch. Listen, I lost, lost two hundred dollars the other day on Biggie. You want to know why? On Biggie? Biggie, on Biggie, gay. You want to know why? Who killed Biggie? No, listen. You want to know why? <laughs> because they betted me that Biggie was bisexual. Really? Why? I bet it $200 he wasn't. Why? And they played four or five songs of Biggie saying bisexual shit. Talk about he had sucked a dad, uh, a daddy, a, daddy, daddy dick. dick. RuPaul, um, fucking RuPaul. I'll fuck RuPaul. Some weird shit. He said some I wild shit. No, I, I lost $200. He yeah. had an edgy sense of humor. It wasn't bi. Are you familiar with these songs? That's a bisexual yes. sex. Not not bisexual humor. Like we that. don't say that kind of shit. He had a very nah. edgy sense of humor. The nah, other day I was watching just, Charlie Baltimore that's not talk sense about of humor, him. Bro. Charlie Baltimore I did lost a Vlad interview. You know what's lost crazy? It. Listen, Charlie Baltimore did a what's Vlad beef? interview. <laughs> he said beef? some shit. Some wild Fuck shit. Fuck him in the ass that's, and then some, okay, some shit. But that but was a that was a line from a movie. Shit. That was a line from a movie at the time. Bro. So him saying it like that Bro. was topical and it, and people thought it was I, really funny. At the time, nobody thought that it was that out of the ordinary. I feel bad because I've been bumping these songs. And didn't catch it. You think Biggie is bisexual? Hell yeah. Because of a couple of jokes that he made on you know the songs? songs? You know the songs? Like yeah. Joke like that. He said, uh, he said we're going to kidnap your kids, fuck them in the ass, and throw them over the bridge. Oh, bro, shit. That, ain't See, cool. that, that wouldn't weird. make him bisexual. Was, that would make him a child what, molester. What about him Do you really think that, that Biggie was a child saying, molester? You're he cool with that? It was a joke. He said he'll suck a woman's daddy's dick. It was a joke. Why was there no outrage about it when it came out? Why is it only? We why is it twenty we years just, later? I that, some kind of way, why is it twenty years later that people decided to make a thing out of money. it? I should have. I, should, nah, I said he wasn't. That they press different. play. That shit ain't cool. Why are you guys doing the whole cancel culture thing? We're gonna take something you said 20, 30 cancel, years ago, and we're gonna be like, oh look, look, you're a bad guy. You said something offensive. Don't mean we twenty years ago. You can't cancel Biggie. I'm simply saying I lost a bet. Because as long as I've been listening to his music. What was the bet? What were the terms of the bet? They was like, yo, Biggie's bisexual. He got bisexual tendencies. I'm like, get the fuck What out lyric here. proves that he was bisexual? Oh, fuck man. Him in, uh, fuck him in the ass. I'll suck at your daddy's Daddy. dick. For the record, he said, I got, kill, I got killers that'll kidnap kids. He wasn't saying it about himself. Nah, nah, He was nah, employing nah. the child molester. about to suck the daddy's yeah, dick? Yeah, you enabling him. She looks so good that I'll suck on her daddy's dick. How is no, that not reading as a joke even, to hey, you? Bro, I'm not even having this Why are you like choosing to ignore the fact you, you that it's obviously yourself, a joke? Bro. Yes, I've, you are, uh, I know you are. Yes, I'm glad you admitted a girl it. Y'all heard it. Yeah. A girl could be got so him. hot got that him. I would suck her down. Got him. I would love yeah. it. Glad with it. On that note. Every last drop. This got is him. the Adam and Wax show <laughs> with our guest to be. The <laughs> other side. The other side, man. We'll see you next time. Biggie Small. We are not bisexual. Showing up. He was said, I'm funny. Not he had good jokes. <laughs> funny, you're right. He was funny. <laughs>
He was funny. Yo. He was funny. All right. Shout out to Adam, man. See you guys next week. Shout out to Hunter's side, gang, man. Gang, gang. Fuck the Hunter's side. We the other uh, side. Uh, shout uh, out to the Hunter's side, man. Fuck the Hunter's side. Uh, whack 100. Whack 100 shit. I'm going to pack this if motherfucker out. Say it with the other side. Say it again. Say it with the other side again. <laughs> That's the homie. It's hot here. I'm starting to sweat. Can I get a Who? sing? Yeah. Woo! Other side, low rotted card club. Yo, listen. <laughs> shout out to the whoops. <laughs>